What the fuck is going on? Hi everybody, welcome to the game room. My name is Luke the DM, and it's my job to kill everybody. And tonight, we've got a little wee little baby beginner tier mission with three brand new level one characters. I'm super hyped about it. Um, apologize for the delay, we had a little bit of last minute shifting around to do, but we're here, we're ready to fucking rock, and we're super excited. Um, oh my so, God. just to kind of go around the horn... Um, we've got, uh, has been featured as a guest, but is now making her actual own permanent character, the lovely and talented Chatelian. Oh, thanks. We've thanks. got the renowned, esteemed, glorious Jamilio19 with a new recruit character. So welcome back. I know it's been a while. It's been um, a while. We've got the illustrious glorious and dignified cursed kraken with arbit a, a known favorite eh. we got we will play in autumn you know <laughs> and no. certainly not the least but unfortunately mm -hmm. the last in this particular case <laughs> we have the resplendent royal and rambunctious Impergalactic with her new recruit. So, guys, welcome, welcome. I'm super happy to be here. Uh, um, I know you guys, you two and Hero Tier, have been just kind of hanging out on the sidelines for a while, so it's good to guys get you guys back in the swing of things, and it's good to have you back. Okay. Um, TGR business, as usual. Uh, we will get through a couple of quick announcements, and then we're going to jump right into this goofy little mission we have planned. Okay, um, announcements. Uh, just going through the links, as always, if you are watching, if you're lurking, if you're catching us on YouTube or whatever, you're hanging out on Twitch, um, exclamation point join. We'll give you all the instructions on how to get involved in this silly little D&D campaign. We'll get you into our Discord channel. Um, you can contact me or WeeWoo or pretty much anybody. We're all happy to have you and, and willing to help. Um... We've got our Reaper Minis link, which, if you click on that, brings you to all sorts of awesome minis and paints and stuff for tabletop gaming. And if you click on it, we get points. So even if you're not going to buy anything, just click on it. Just to click on it. Click on it. Don't cl click on it. Just click on it. Just click on it. Um, we've got Inked Gaming, which is all of your customizable jackets, bags, mouse pads, face masks. You name it. You can put a picture on it. They've got you. Uh, and they do that extra little step of making sure it doesn't look like shit because some people are bad at computers like me and they don't want to sell bad products. So uh, definitely good stuff there. We have our own awesome little Etsy store with all of our TGR merch and featuring um, awesome, amazing art by local artists here in the community. And just so you guys know where your money's going, 50% of those proceeds um, will go to the artist and 50% will go to the stream. And we sort of invest that money back into the community through giveaways or subscription stuff just to kind of keep the show rolling because it does cost a little bit of money to make all this happen. Um, thank you guys for, for contributing in every way that you guys do, for being here, for subscribing, for hanging out, for clicking on links for us. Click the link. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, it, don't it, ask where my mini collection comes from. Yeah. <laughs> um. As far as TGR news, we've got backstories. We've got all the backstories. Um, so many backstories. Two backstories currently say we got two. in the works. <laughs> I, um, I love you, Luke. I'm sorry. I love you, That's too. all of them. <laughs> uh, as always, we're going to say it every week until it happens. We've got Cricket's backstory number two, uh, Untamed Scribe's life. It's a little crazy. Uh, so when things settle down, she is, you know, 100% on board. Uh, we're going to go be some ninja goblins in the howling woods and stuff and be a good time uh so it'll be that'll be awesome and then more in the nearer future we've got backstory two for willow Ooh. um which we are looking at probably either the first or second week of october so coming up coming up in a few weeks there um I can honestly say I'm nervous for that one. That one is going to change things. That one is going to be a big deal. So definitely stay posted on that one. That one's going to be a big deal in in kite like the little star glistle emojis, big deal, whatever. However, emphasis it's going to be a big deal. I can't fucking talk tonight. Um, that's it for backstory missions. That's it for announcements i think 
Unless you got anything else, we will. I think we're ready to um, ready to kick this. For those of you that I owe shipments to, it's coming. I already talked to Chiata, so there's a couple out there still. Life keeps happening, cool, cool, cool. and I keep looking at the box, going, "Oh, I'll get there eventually." Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm I'm not good with this stuff. I'm sorry. I love you all though. Um, that's a bit. That's all I got. Alrighty, that's all important. Right. Important. All right then. Tonight's mission begins as they always do in the beautiful free city of Kadoria on a lonely peninsula to the north of the Midnight Sea, and there on that prime central thoroughway drag known as Avondra's Alley, right where it turns right into the south onto Melora's Way. In that central town square known as Ava's Piazza now sits a beautiful three-story mansion, which now serves as the Teeth Adventuring Company Guild Hall. And despite this eternal night that has overtaken the Free City uh, due to the Dieban Order, Tack is fighting back and slowly winning back the hearts and the minds of the people of this fair city, now having secured... Two districts uh, from the darkness, both uh, uh, Jer- uh, Jervis Key and Solomon's Slums, now back to a normal day-night cycle and uh, back to not having those people bewitched. Um, there is a sort of air of hope within the city. There's 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 a chance that uh, you guys will be able to take care of this. And in I that like hope, how you said it... that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, in that glimmer of hope, uh, there are little pockets of resistance and little safe havens, little, like, almost underground railroad-esque, um, communities that are, are protecting people and, uh, the Tealeaf Adventuring Company being probably the utmost and most notable of these, um, attracting the attention of others who would like to help fight against evil, fight against the darkness, and maybe make a little bit of money along the way. Um, and so, in in doing this, coming from far and wide, uh, each with their own individual little missions or stories or motives, um, we've got three new members joining us. Uh, normally, I do like the whole like knocking on the door scene, but y'all have all done that before, and it's like you can't knock on the front door right now. So through your own means and methods, you guys have found your way to the Leaf Adventuring Company. Um, so let's actually go through a little bit, because we do have some new character introductions, and, and I think this is part of the fun of it, is, you know, describing your new character. Um, so, Chatta, why don't we start with your character? Why don't you walk us through what you're playing, what's your race, what's your class, and give us just kind of the, the aesthetic. Take a minute or two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I am an Arakan. Who looks like a flamingo. Okay. I was raised in a great monastery outside of uh, Zaraeus. Zaraeus. Um, I don't... I didn't really grow up with other bird people. Uh, I have a guardian who brought me to the monastery as an egg. Um, oh. I have made it to tack through meeting um, Rozzy Olkrunner. She tasked me with this message to bring. Uh, did that in tavern chat. Uh, I'm like four nine. <laughs> Little baby birdie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so they're adults at three, and I'm only six. Okay. So still, still pretty early in my life. Um, I've never done anything before. I have just been in the monastery. I have done what I was told. You know, like, and you know, very, very religious. We do celebrate uh, the deity Pelor in uh, my monastery and uh, the little belt emblem that is my little holy symbol that I have with me on my belt. Um, I have heard a lot of people coming into the monastery and, you know, just talking about all their adventures. They come there for sanctuary or just, you know, to spend the night along their weary travels. So I've heard so many stories and I've just, I'm just so excited to actually be able to go do something of my own. And awesome. like, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, and what is your character's name? Uh, Heek. Heek. All right. So we've got Heek, the 
Aarakocra Monk. Beautiful. Alrighty, next up, finding their way. Um, now, ladies, I don't know if you want to do this as, like, a duo or one at a time. I'll leave it up to you, um, because I know you guys are intertwined somewhat. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. <laughs> uh, we could just go individually, I guess. Um, so my character's name is Lena. She is a fighter. Um, she's got basically very kind of almost delicate elf-like features, but her hair is like divided almost perfectly in half, pink on one side, red on, uh, sorry, pink on one side, blue on the other side, and she's wearing it in pigtails right now, and just kind of this really long, ratty, sh white shirt that kind of looks like it's been torn up. Like, the sleeves are, like, too long. It almost has, like, a strap coming, dangling off the, off the top of the, you know, bottom of the sleeves, and just kind of looking kind of like a hot mess. Uh, but uh, had been kind of finding some odd jobs at Cali Sanctuary and decided she needed some extra cash to make a name for herself. Nice, nice. We've got Lena the fighter. All right. And Miss Purr. Sorry, Mrs. Purr. <laughs> uh, Lilia is... Um an elf and she's a wood elf and she has a shock of bright red hair and green eyes and she has a killer case of resting bitch face <laughs> and um she is following lena to keep her out of trouble all right all right and what class is uh lilia uh she's a druid very cool all righty forgive me because i'm gonna mess that up Every time, Lilia and Lena. I already hate it's, you guys a little bit like more. Lillian. No end. Alright. Yeah, we'll get it together. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Settle down. So. You all have found your way to the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company and gone through the bureaucracy with Reginald Tealeaf and filled out your little entry paperwork and then gotten your rooms and gotten settled and had all of these rules explained to you. And we'll say at this point, Heek has probably been here maybe 10 days, coming up on two weeks. Lena and Lilia, maybe two or three days at this point, just enough to kind of get settled in. And, um... It is, again, tough to say exactly what time it is. That sort of uh, circadian rhythm is, is disrupted by the Eternal Night. But um, the five of you on this particular day um, kind of find yourselves enjoying a meal, sort of relaxing, lounging, maybe exploring the place a little bit, getting to know some of the you know more intimate details of, of the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company Guild Lounge. Um... And so if, if anyone wants to take a moment to, you know, if you're doing anything in particular, if you want to have any conversations, um, I'll, let, I'll let you guys kind of open up for this evening. I am sit sitting alone at the moment and I have a mug of something alcoholic and um, I never really drank before. So I'm just like kind of staring at it. Not not sure whether or not and how with my beak with, the <laughs> you know, <laughs> Just gonna stare at it for a while and kind of look around, see that everybody else is doing their own thing. But for now, I'm just kind of really shy and like just okay. with my cup. <laughs> Lena is looking exceptionally hungover and is sitting there with a nice egg sandwich, just covered in cheese, probably way too much cheese, and is just like staring lovingly at it. <laughs> Too much cheese, impossible. Mm. <laughs> Hurry, you're up. I'm not going yet. Uh, Lilia will be uh, sat down beside Lena, probably trying to get her to drink water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the sandwich, you don't you don't understand. This is like the best sandwich. This this bartender, this Ted, I don't know what he did to the sandwich, but this sandwich was amazing. 
I had it yesterday, and I'm having it again today. And I, I might, I might be in love, Lils. I might be in love again. Well, not likely. To me, man. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about the sandwich. I don't, I don't care about Ted. I'm talking about the sandwich. This, the sandwich might be the love of my life. And she just takes a huge bite and just like, like her eyes, like kind of like roll back and like, oh. <laughs> you, you gotta, you gotta try it. Lil, will you take a bite? <laughs> Good, you, you, you can have it. It's fine. I can get you another one. No, I'm, I'm fine. I wouldn't trust anything that man put out. Hey, kitty cat man. Cat. Yes, kitty kitty. <laughs> Is Arbit <laughs> walking through the area going kitty kitty? Yes. <laughs> here, kitty kitty. Look up. Come here, kitty kitty. What? Uh, there's a kitty. She, yeah, she's lounging on one of the rafters. <laughs> you're, you're a weirdo. But she is staring hey. daggers at Hink. Um, Oh, no. huh. oh shit, would oh, you look at be... that? Definitely a long calico tail just whipping back and forth from the rafter. Mm. Oh, well, this will be fun. <laughs> Not what they mean kitty, by birds kitty. of prey. I want to pet the kitty. As the five of you are are staring at each other, enjoying a meal, being shy, being goofy, um, you all feel your attention drawn at this slight sound that sort of breaks the everyday murmur and and sort of white noise of the the lounge. Just a simple little, the clearing of a throat. And almost simultaneously, all five of you look over and... Standing, sort of leaning against the door frame, almost as if he had, had come from the front door, um, is a rather tall, sort of lean, very finely figured individual um, with this sort of like glossy shock of jet black hair. He wears this um, sort of like deep maroon blazer with the collar just slightly popped. Um, a deep uh, black doublet with golden buttons. Um, you can see there is sort of like a silver chain around the neck, uh, dazzling green eyes, a devilish smile. Um, and yet, despite this like brilliantly confident and charming posture, there is a meekness about him, this sort of uh, recognition of being a stranger, of being foreign, and with just the simple clearing of the throat, kind of looks around, almost helpless, looking, grasping out for for anyone who will help. He came in from outside? Uh, it's unclear. Mm. Hey, uh... Hey, uh, bird person, stop that thing. Uh, I'm sorry? Yep, you're the bird. Uh, bird is the word. I said a bird, bird, bird. No, bird. Go look bird. around for another bird. Like, go see are you sure me? me? Yep. And then uh, I go, go go up to this person. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, good day. Good day. Hello. hello. Sorry, I I do apologize. Um, is this? I I, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company, correct? Yes. Lovely, oh, lovely. I, I was, I, I saw the sign. I just wasn't entirely sure, a hundred percent. I just wanted to to make sure that I was in the the right place. Um, well, g- good day, good day. It's a pleasure to meet you and your um compatriots. As he kind of like looks over to the rest of you, just kind of uneasily. Um, yes, quite. Um, hello. Um, I am here. Actually, to if if it is at all possible to commission um, a group of adventurers on a on a, a slight 
task that, or, or rather, a rumor that I've heard that I'd like to have um, investigated, if possible. A rumor? Is, is, like a story? Yeah. Where have you what been? You, uh, what have uh, you uh, done? Uh, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, a traveler. You see, I, I'm from, i have from all over the place. Um, and I've come from out of town, and uh, I've, I've heard of great. How far great did it take people. you? Um, quite some time. Hmm. Um, you see, I, uh, I'm a collector of things and of stories in particular, and um, I've heard of a particular rumor or story, whichever you'd like to call it. Um, that has, has really fascinated me and, and, and tantalized and, and uh, fixated my, my, my mind's eye on this particular story. And I, I do wish to see it fully investigated, as it were. Um, and I was told that adventurers here could be hired to go out and accomplish great deeds and investigate things. And, and perhaps I feel like this is a, a, an amicable and, and mutually beneficial agreement of sorts. Um, you guys want to go? I, I'm he. Uh... You guys are in here. Let's go. Like, can we help this guy? I would like to leave. Do we get to leave? Do we get to go, like, adventure? Like, we get to go have our own adventure? We should do this. Wait, are we... I absolutely appreciate your enthusiasm. Have you, um, talked to the, uh, powers that be here? Oh, Oh, yes. Are we allowed? Um, Yes, don't worry. Um, I'm quite familiar with um, how the sort of bureaucracy, bureaucracy um, paperwork and all that. Um, I've actually been following Reginald for quite some time. I'm an admirer of his and his, his business etiquette. Um, and as it were, um, I, I have prepared and he kind of like reaches into a pocket and pulls out this, this scroll that seems to be like very, very fine stationary with like this bright, red and golden seal um it looks like this guy has like got the the legal paperwork all taken care of um and he kind of like opens it up reads it over again kind of scrolls it back up yes yes um i i believe i i I'll, um when i do find reginald i'll give him a copy of this and he's free to edit it at his you know behest and we'll get that signed and payment will be squared away and, and such and and all that and uh i believe um I, I, again, I'm from out of town. I'm not quite sure the going rate of such adventures and going on that this is, in fact, a rumor and not a for sure sort of defined, definite thing. Um, I haven't included a clause as to whether or not, um, should the rumor prove to be true, there is um, an increased compensation for it. And rather, um, if it's not, and you do find proof that it is, an, you know, a fabrication of the imagination, uh, you will be amply compensated for your time, uh, so as to not be a complete waste of, of said time. Because I know your your time is indeed valuable. What tales on the wind do you have us chasing, man? Of course, you hear it from above. Yeah, I'm just looking up. Right. Do, do you mind if I um if I, if I get myself comfortable? It is it is quite a tale. Um, and I have come from from very far away. I'd like to just rest my feet, maybe get something to to quench my thirst, if that's quite all right. If, is that? By all means, make yourself. Go ahead, sit down. There's right. lots so of he, places to sit here. Uh, he sits down. Um, on. One of these, like, sort of upside down turtle shell papasan chairs, and kind of like gets a little comfortable, and like holds up a hand, and you see like a mug sort of like float over to him. It's got like a little bit of steam. You get this like aroma of maybe like a hot chocolate, and he kind of like takes it and inhales a little bit, and just takes a little sip. And... Ah, splendid. Thank you. Um. Right. Where where do where do I begin in this fascinating tale? Um. Usually you start at the beginning. Just, well, you just see that putting it out there. Your advice is... I will take your advice into consideration. How long ago is your beginning? It all started with the creation of the multiverse, I suppose. Um, and in the sort of raw, prismatic, chaotic, tumultuous eruption of chaos and elemental forces, um, there were certain... Artifacts, items of immense power, power that is perhaps older than the multiverse itself, that came to manifest themselves into being. Infinity what, sorry? Stones, gems, all powerful. Mm, 
not quite Don't? jumps, but um, maybe not quite that beginning, but the beginning where it actually involves us. Well. Through my travels and through my studies, I've heard of a particularly persuasive and maleficent archdevil who came to be quite fond of collecting these extremely ancient, primordial, powerful objects, artifacts as they were, and using them for his own nefarious ends and ruling the nine hells and such and as is all that um i won't bore you with the details of that as i'm sure it's just as i love details and, just as hideous and evil as you can imagine um and, and to be fair most of these details are myths and and by no means are confirmed um however it is written that uh this particular archdevil had uh, what he referred to as a personal treasurer, someone to manage and watch over and guard these extremely powerful and ancient artifacts. Um, and this treasurer went by um, by, uh, by a particular name um, as uh, Razivart. Bless you. Uh, uh, sorry. Isn't I... Razavart. Um, now, Razavart was a rather um, meek and, quite frankly, pathetic little excuse of a creature. Um, but dutifully. Sorry. As all men are. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not quite mistaken. Carry on. Um, yes. Uh, so Razavart um, was was this this archdevil's treasurer and and looked after his belongings and his his finances and such, um, and grew tired of the constant um, contempt for which his master held over him and and the um, how would you say um, mistreatments and um, condescending nature of his master and so. One day, a long, long time ago, Raxavart finally had enough, and he decided to uh, abscond from his master's service out of the Nine Hells, carrying in tow a number of these extremely powerful artifacts. Now, these artifacts, might I mention, um, wield an immense and terrible power um, insofar as to potentially turn an ordinary being such as Raxavart into... Um, what mortals might refer to as a demigod. Um, yeah. In particular, um, there is of of note one particular artifact from this archdevil's collection, known as the Infinity Spool, um, which is, uh, 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 of course, um, renowned for its legendary power. And and in particular, this Infinity Spool is known to grant its holder immortality and and the the prowess of what might be considered a demigod so raxavart ran off stole the infinity spool and 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 ran away to what we believe to be the material plane this this realm of existence this 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 plane of existence and uh ran off to hide with his infinity spool here from his the wrath of his archdevil master and Unfortunately, being this weak, timid, and quite frankly pathetic creature, Raxavart would would truly only use this newfound power for his own end, and and the consequences could be extremely dire. Now, I've heard that Raxavart has taken up a holding in um, a nearby place. Not too far from this fair city, um, I believe it's some sort of forest, like a, like a loud, canine wailing, or or, or a, a baying of sorts. Um, I, I forgive me, I, I'm not from here. Um, oh, oh, oh! You mean the howling woods? Yes, yes, that one precisely. Yes. So it is, it is, it is postulated that Raxavat has been hiding in this very forest, and. Um, due to his um, lack of intelligence, quite it it it, it is it is theorized that he has not quite yet 
fully accessed the potential of this infinity spool. And so, being such a, a incredulous and 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 hypocritical and and quite frankly stupid being, um, adventurers such as yourself should have no problem in confronting Raktavart and and getting this infinity spool and and perhaps bringing it for further study and and for the greater good. Uh, if this if this artifact fell into the wrong hands, it could be quite disastrous. And thankfully, Raxavart, the 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 blubbering idiot, um does not quite know how to use it, or so I've heard. And so we we should stop him before he figures out how to use it to prevent the chaos that would ensue. Do you know how to use it? Oh, no, I've only read about it. I, I, I've i never even seen the thing before in my life. Hmm. You know, it's real. I don't. And so, as part of this contract that I've written up, um, if it is real and you do manage to find um, even evidence of its real existence, or, or, or even uh, um, a trace of Raxavart, I would be happy to, to, to compensate you at, at the full price listed here on the contract. And um, should you... Otherwise, disprove Raxavot's existence and um, and uh, perhaps prove that this whole tale is just a myth, um, which I, 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 I it is quite possible. Um, I would compensate you um, not quite as highly, but um, just so as to not waste your precious time. I, I, I believe. Should we get paid more if it doesn't exist? Because that would be wasting our time. No, but, you but see, if it exists. If you do the act of good and, and find this Infinity Spool and return it to the safe hands of the Teeth Adventuring Company, um, that, I believe, is more deserving of a, of a just reward than simply a, a stroll through the forest, as it were. Lils, what you think? The forest is kind of like your place? I don't know, have you heard of anything like this? been away for a while since we've been busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I, I didn't listen trouble. to last that man's story because he is not very brief. Yeah, Mr. Fancy Pants does have a way of talking. Can Lena, like, kind of peek over and see what the dollar or, you know, gold amount is on the contract that this guy's written out? Sure, make a perception check. Ooh, we already rolled. Uh, there is a lot of writing on here, and it's very, very intricate um, font, and you kind of like only get a couple quick glances. So with a five, unfortunately, you're unable to see a specific amount. Yeah, this whole paperwork thing makes makes my head hurt. I, I have no idea. It's quite hard. Trust me, to um, the devil's in the details, and I assure you that I have crossed every T and dotted every I, and um, made sure that this is this is well. Uh, documented, and and that you will be amply compensated, regardless of the outcome. Trust you. Perhaps. Yeah, I don't know be... about trusting tr trusting people, but you know, it's money. We need money. Perhaps you should, uh, while we prepare, you go in and speak to Mister Tea Leaf through that door over there. Oh, it just, just right there. Right. Is that yeah. is that? Go of of course. Um. I... Yeah. Oh, right. with the um, with the, the the family crest on the door. Yes. Um, if, if you'll excuse me, I'll I'll go talk with your manager and um, get all that squared away, and you all can can take the time to uh, strategize or prepare or or whatever adventurers do. I I personally am, am s s very lacking in that department. Yes. So, yes. Um, yes. We we shall prepare. You lovely can get the details taken care of with our esteemed proprietor. Quite. Um, yes. And he uh, finishes his his hot cocoa and gets up and, and walks over towards Reginald's office. So, if you guys would like to talk or buy any potions or things of that nature, now is your chance to do so. I'm going to whisper kind of low again, what do adventurers do? Typically, you know, the first thing we do is uh, we don't believe him. I we don't with, believe him? I agree with you know, the frog. Do you want the belly rub? Touch me on my arrow, we'll find your throat. Is that, is that frog a man? I can't 
can't. I, I'm not really familiar with their anatomy. <laughs> you want to keep your eyes off. Believe her. Believe what you're looking for is hermaphrodite. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. I can dig Nothing that. I think. I'm right with that. They can change genders, right? Most frogs. I can't wait to you. I don't fucking know. <laughs> the frog expert. D D. Now they can. Now D&D. they do. Frogs are hermaphrodites. Okay. Okay. Um. D and D beyond everybody. <laughs> Autumn is gonna. The hermaphrodite is the beyond. <laughs> Autumn is gonna jump down from the rafters and land on all fours and kind of sit and look up. Good girl. Would you like an egg sandwich? I will pass, but thank you for offering. My name is Autumn in the Shimmering Suns. Autumn. Autumn. All right. Your, your people call me Autumn, yes. And it's you kinda are. Pretty. Uh, I, I'm Lena. This is Lilia. Lilia. She's like totally my bestie. And she's gotten me out of a lot of jams. And she's, like, obviously the bestest thing ever. I see. You, you ladies have come to a fine place. Miss Marigold runs a very tight ship here. See, see Liz, I knew a lady had to be in charge here. Yeah, especially one named after a flower. <laughs> Marigold is very nice. I met her. Oh, yeah, you met her? <laughs> I yeah. haven't had the, uh, the pleasure yet. I brought her a note. That's how I got here. What do What do we need to prep? Like, uh, I'm just so excited. I've never, I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> oh, sweet bird, Hi, Autumn. My name's Heek. Hello, bird. Oh. <laughs> is this is this gonna be an issue? Frog yeah, apparently person? the bird is the word. Yes. And your name? Herbert the Frog. I love it. All right, a little bit on point, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. As they say, very on the nose. Who wants the high five? You know what? I am for the team spirit. I still don't know what you are, but all right. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't even know how to hit her. I don't even know how to do this. Con save. Con save. I think it's a con save, yeah. 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 Contact con save. Oh, you're fine. You're with an 18, you're fine. I'm so hauling over, I feel nothing. <laughs> we probably nothing. slightly missed on the high five, too. I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, girl, do you want to high five, Will, too? Yeah. What? Let's high five. Yeah, it's when you slap hands. Okay. I have hands. And wings. <laughs> high fiving. Huh. Yeah, you do, uh, don't you? Huh? <sighs> I don't want to whisper it. What? Hold on. Throw it out in the open, baby. I have dry. Says Constitution. Yep. Can't say. There we go. Ooh. So I believe oh, no, you're I fell down. Poisoned. You're poisoned. Oh, I'm poisoned. <laughs> oh, you're you actually do damage? It's what it does. Jesus Christ. I've never right, next on people next before. Thing. Oh, no. You have she only has hate hit points. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Next thing you need to learn don't touch me. <laughs> Why would you offer high fives if I can't touch you? Because I told you, don't trust that man. The lesson was don't trust people. Oh. <laughs> no, no, you said don't trust a man, and then you said you weren't exactly a man. Yeah. She was. No, no, I am, and if I want children, I don't want a man anymore. The door from Reginald's <laughs> office slowly creaks open, and out, sort of, kind of glancing both ways, slips out that um that same patron that comes in, um kind of Probably adjusting himself slightly. And goes, too, I'm sorry um, about that. So, um... I've 
discuss the details with um, Mr. Tealeaf, and he's actually managed to, uh, despite my best efforts, negotiate a higher price for this contract in your in your benefits. Um, my dear, you are not. You are you are not looking well. Um, he kind of like leans over to to Heek. No, your not. feathers are are. Um, I think I'm sweating. Quite uh, quite pale, if I if I do say. Um, well, do you mind? She might be gray in the gills. Gray gills? You, you don't have gills, my dear. Do you do you would you do you mind? Do I mind what? Uh, I can I can. Uh, please help. don't high five me. No 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 no. <laughs> I can I can help with that. If you'd like. So I was still not to trust man. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Can you make me feel better? Yes, yes, just relax. And okay. he kind of like, uh, like, brushes a feather out of your eye and you're back to full hit points because fuck that noise. I'm not making you start <laughs> watching that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that should... You immediately feel like this wave of relief over you. You feel much better. I'm gonna take two steps away from Arvid. <laughs> um. So, um, uh, if we're all in agreements, then, um, you you you'd best be off in in trying to locate the Infinity Spool and and Raxavart and all that jolly good stuff. Yes, jolly good stuff. Yeah, why not? I got nothing on the on my agenda today. Excellent. Um, and uh, so so in 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 full just blatant um uh transparency and and such um, should you find um the existence of Raxavat and and the Infinity Spool within the Howling Woods and and return with that information, um, I will be compensating all of you um. Uh, thanks to your your uh, manager Reginald, seven hundred and fifty gold pieces each. Um, and should um, simply you disprove the theory and and decide that um, it is all just hogwash and folly, um, then uh, three hundred gold pieces for your trouble. Marvelous. High five. I. Oh please no, not again. I'm I'm all set, but thank you. Don't leave me hanging. I, I, um, just would you prefer a, a, just a handshake? Um, a high five is a bit crass for where I'm from. All right, handshake it is. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from very far away. Um, you've probably never heard of it. Far away. Yes. No, I've never heard of it. I'm well traveled. Where are you from, sir? Oh, it's the details are uh, really... You flatter me. The, the devil's in the details. You're right. I'm sorry. Big sign there. Rather suspicious. <laughs> I agree with the redhead. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> he kind of like blushes slightly. If you if you must know, um, there's a lovely little seaside shanty uh, across the midnight sea, far to the west, in a little town called Thamar. Um, where I've made my home, um, and uh, although I haven't really been home in quite a number of years, it's um, it's quite lovely, especially this time of year. Insight check. Go for it. I would like to as well, mm -hmm. because Autumn does not trust this man. Maybe <laughs> to save my life. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh, a I mouse. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so let's see, we've got a twenty one. Um you've Lilia, you've never heard of of Thamar or anything? Um and like your 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 own intuitions seem to be that this guy's got something about him that doesn't seem quite right. You just can't really pinpoint anything specific. Um, nothing he's saying, nothing he's doing, nothing he's nothing. None of his mannerisms are really giving away any signs of deception or 
um, any sort of uh, malintents. He's just kind of weird. Oh, yeah, good liar. I'll give you that. Um, quite. Um, men are untrustworthy so, naturally. It's okay, dear. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, fuck him. I say, um... Well, when you put um, it that way... <clears throat> I did, I, and I do. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, it, um... If, 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 if... Another handshake. Okay, yes. He seems fine. Um... Right, um, I'll just wait here then for your return, and um, hopefully you'll be bringing back good good news for me. Lovely. Bye, smelly man! No, so, if you guys would like to buy any health potions or any equipment or such, now is your chance to do so. We do start off with normal class starting gold, right? Uh, yeah, 150. Okay, right, I'll buy some potions then. Alrighty, and... 150? Yep. I have 15. Because you're a monk. Oh, god damn. Yeah, monks are poor. Monks are all like, no material possessions or anything. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Duh. Uh, how much are health potions? Uh, normal one's gonna be 50 gold. Jeez. Okay, I'll just die. I'm gonna go go up to Ted and give him the drink I never drank. Thank you, I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> it gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm going to pocket the rest of my egg sandwich. Okay. Alrighty. Did you need a baggie for that? No, it's good in here. She just taps like a pouch that's strapped to her leg. <laughs> <laughs> Noise. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm ready. You guys are off. Well, however you'd like to handle this. Who knows where these woods are? Uh, so Lils and I have been working uh, working at an animal sanctuary out uh, in the Howling Woods lately. So uh, we can get I can get you at least there. But Ooh, I mean, I, I have no that, idea. Please. The Howling Woods is a big place. I have no idea where this Rex Rex Raza whatever his name is. Does that guy yeah, give us a map? Really close anywhere? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe I'm we can ask at the sanctuary. Maybe room. someone's not. Someone else has heard some rumors. I don't know. Maybe. I'm fed. I'll follow you. Plant life. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I trust. I trust Lils. She's, she's got a way with plants. It's just kind of like suspicious, but it's really kind of cool. I don't. I don't quite understand it, but it's it's really neat. You're gonna see some tricks. You're right. I um, suppose that's obtainable. Off to the Howling Woods, my friends. All right, so exiting through the secret hatchway underneath uh, the Peel Venturing Company Guild Hall, uh, underneath the piazza, and ending up in the Cat's Quarter, um, closer actually to the North Gate and the, the North Silver Trade Road, um, across the Crystal Bridge, you guys make it outside of Kadoria into um, what appears to be a, a very bright, like, almost like just past dawn, they sort of like glowing golden late summer morning it's a little bit brisk you can kind of like feel that like just that hint of autumn coming on the breeze that like nice deep fresh breath autumn is uh, what jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> it's here all over again damn it um there's a reason i blew that damn city up after the joke died and <laughs> <coughs> And you head along the North Silver Trade Road to um, not too far off where um, Callie's Animal Sanctuary has been set up and established. Um, and uh, Lena and Lilia know the way quite well. 
Um, and so you, they lead you there. Um, there you can see a um, sort of newly up-and-coming infrastructure and, and business being operated here. Um, and as you walk in, there seems to be um, a bit of a, a hustle and bustle, a bit of a sort of a, a frantic aura about the place um, this morning. It seems like people are, are a little bit anxious or a little bit on edge. Did, did something happen? Is, is everything okay? Are the, are the animals okay? The animals better be okay. Um, a passerby, a, an employee, would, or a volunteer rather, would, would inform you um, that uh, one of the animals actually got loose on accident this morning. The cage was left unlocked and it kind of made a break for it. Um, so they sent out a hunting party um, about two hours ago to go track down the animal. Um, and someone heard a noise, and they're they're not back yet. Hmm. That's suspicious. Yes. Well, that's what we get for leaving. We got we got people incompetent now running this place. <sighs> well, else, what are we gonna do? I say we try to. What uh, kind of animal? I don't fucking know. I'm making this kind of. <laughs> A fucking deer. A fucking baby deer. Babbling brook little deer. So, so <laughs> I, um... It's not Bambi. Perhaps we try to, um... How, they, how do your people say this? Kill two birds with one stone. He, she eyes pink. <laughs> and we help the animal shelter. As well as, perhaps... complete our own duties at this time. I mean, we don't really have any other leads. We'll be at least looking in the woods. Yes. Yeah, sure. What the hell? I mean, you're, All right. you guys Let's are the go. ones that are up here a lot. You might have some better insight onto how this deer would react. I'm well, gonna have to kind of follow you here. I'm just gonna go and uh, put myself out on a limb and just say scared. That they would probably be scared. And That's it, fair. And if it did not survive, well, we have a meal out of it. Well, that's kind of sad and depressing now, isn't it? Yes. It's got no mom, and then it's got no life. It's a, it's a cruel world out there. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys set off. In the early morning, Jesus fucking fuck! I'm like, <laughs> go! <laughs> like, um, just gonna fucking throw a map on the board. Fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> you guys set off. On on you. Seriously, you guys set off into the uh, Howling Wood, and I need survival checks from everybody. Oh, but <laughs> good. Okay, fine. Oh. Fuck yeah. Hey, over here All with right. the 25, hey, uh. All right. After no more than 15 minutes of walking into the forest, um, Lilia, you quickly pick up on the scent of blood. Um, by your expertise and sort of, um, naturalistic instincts, um, rather freshly spilled, um, and probably human in nature. Humanoid, anyway. Okay. Um. I think the child goes this way. It smells suspicious. <laughs> What's it smell like? Like blood. It smells Ooh. suspicious. God damn it. Oh, like, like man blood? Like man blood. But, um. Hmm. Uh, so many weird questions I could ask here. Uh, no, um, the, uh... Following the trail a little bit further, you see, um, footprints, uh, forming in, um, what appears to be some sort of a, a scuffle or a panic or a hurry, uh, perhaps a chase of sorts. Um, and you follow them to a clearing. I'm just gonna fucking throw you on the map because I'm sick of this goddamn shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> I want to point out, Joe and I haven't played together since The Awakening. Really? Pretty sure. Oh my god. Because he started in Adventure Tier and I didn't. And Luke's never going to let you guys play again together? <laughs> I mean, I feel Mark like he should know by now. He should, he should know better. As you come into this clearing, <laughs> um, you can quickly see in front of you the several humanoid corpses of what look to be volunteer workers are ripped to shreds uh blood and guts and bones everywhere and you can see there are a number of these rather oversized mangy looking rats just feasting away on these these corpses i fire um, and they sorry take your shot they're mm. rats i can't stand a rat to live <laughs> Interesting. Are these the things you have at the sanctuary there? Uh, no, no, I don't think we've seen any of these uh, freaky little things. You guys are doing your whole thing, and I'm just boom. All right, the take closest a shot. one. Oh Go for shit! It. Is that Jimmy? Not anymore. Twenty-five is a hit. Um, it's not. Oh no, it's an, that's an eighteen. Okay, sorry. I was like, wait, is that a crit? Um, it is not. Uh, <laughs> what is plus wowza? That's crit. That's the crit damage on the other side. Oh, uh, 18. so or so eight, damage. eight eight points of damage as this arrow flies through the air, pierces this rat, and with a pathetic little uh pins this thing to the ground dead. You see all the other rats at the same time kind of rear up, look at you, and I need everybody to roll initiative. Nice, clean, ethical kill. I like it. Thank you. I take pride in in my skill with the bow. I don't know why I'm saying this now. We're in a fight. I have learned well, if you know. actually like talk through it and talk through your problems, it sometimes actually helps. Lily has got a ten. I wasn't highlighted, I'm sorry. I forget how to okay. play things. It's all good, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, anybody else still not in there? We got Lena, we got Arbit, Autumn, Lilia. We need Heek. What'd you get, Heek? 22. Hot damn. Spicy. She's a fucking monk initiative with your monk shit. So all spicy. Right. All right, so, top initiative after this arrow goes flying is Heek. You are up. You got oh, a bunch okay. of angry rats. Mm-hmm. What you gonna do? Um, oh, God. If <clears throat> I... Oh, shit. That's too far. I am going to go ahead and move 25. Just right there. Okie dokie. So that's 20. You can move 5 more oh. if you want. Okay. Okie dokie. That's your movement. You still have an action and a bonus action. Um. <clears throat> I'm not really close to anything. So I can't really do much. I'm going to wait right here for my friends. Okay. So a couple of options. You could action to <coughs> dash and move another 25 feet. Um, You could action to dodge and basically be on the defensive. Make it harder. Do to I have ahead. dash? I thought I got uh, dash later. No, no, no. Everybody can dash as an action. Monks, uh, monks at a later level can, can dash as a bonus action. Oh, okay. That's what I got confused on. Um, yeah, actually, nope. Nope. I'm gonna be cautious because this is my first adventure. Okay, so you wanna do you wanna be on the defensive uh, right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take the we're gonna take the dodge action. So I'll give you this little ninja to kind of be like ready to ready to defend yourself. Cool. Okay, cool. Good move. That'll bring us to Arbit. Um. Okay. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, about here, and I am going to lick and throw 
a dart at this little guy. Or not a dart, but a dagger. Okay. Twenty-three will definitely hit. Just five piercing, five. and I need it to make a con save. Okie dokie. Con save is going to be a five. For five the five points. Point. Yeah. Um, so the dagger kind of flies through the air, <laughs> sticks into the rat. It kind of like leaps forward towards you aggressively and just kind of like slowly kind of crumples to the ground and, and, and dies. Night, night, bitch. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Right. Yeah, I'm not really anywhere. Yeah. Alrighty. That'll bring us to Autumn with so, Willia on deck. Autumn is going to strafe this way behind uh, Arbit and fire okay. at this particular rodent. Cool. Right over there. Ooh. And 11 is just barely going to be a miss. This one kind of sees you coming this time and manages to dodge out of the way of the arrow. <sighs> I don't like it. Action surge! Yeah, rats, you missed. And she's going to do it again because she hates rats. 16! 16. 16, there you go. Kind of leading it a little bit, compensating for the jump. You shoot and get nearly a kill shot, but it is still just barely alive. She hisses. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Alrighty. Lilia, you're up. That's the theory. There's anything more she hates than birds? It's rats. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use a acid splash. Okay. And I'm going to shoot at this one down here really far away. This guy way down here? Okay. He's got to make a dexterity saving throw. Um, he is a little bit of a quick guy. Uh, Dex is one of their best stats. So with a 15, he manages to dodge out of the way of your acid splash, taking no damage. I should have done these ones. That's alright. Okay. All set? Uh, yep, that's my turn. Alrighty, that'll bring us to Lena. Oh, well, shit, guys. Don't leave me behind. I'm gonna move up here. Uh, I'm gonna take out my bow. And I'm gonna take out... I'm gonna try to take a shot at the one that uh, is kind of clumped in front of us, the one remaining. Okay. 24 for 7. Boom. Easy. Kill shot. Yeah, that was for Jimmy. And that'll be my turn. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, the rats are gonna go. They're still hungry. There's still three of them. Um, so they're gonna charge right in. He's gonna get right up in there. He's gonna get uh, right up towards this way here. And this little guy's gonna get... Uh, Let's see, 30 feet. He's actually going to dash, put himself right there. Uh, this one hasn't moved yet. He's also going to dash and just get right up in there. Uh, so one of them does manage to get through. He is going to take a bite out at Autumn, because cats. Um, so at advantage, because of pack tactics, the bite against Autumn is going to be a 16 to hit. Yeah. All right, that's going to be six points of piercing damage, and I need you, my friend, to make me a constitution saving throw. Are you fucking arguing no, right rats. now? <laughs> uh, like, con save, 19. You're just fine. Thank you. All righty. All that'll bring us to the top of the initiative is Heek. So, Heek, you're no longer dodging. Sure. I would like to smack this rat right in the face. Go for it. With the uh, unarmed. Yo. 20 will hit. Yes. <clears throat> rat! 
Ah! <laughs> Alright, go ahead and roll damage on that. If you just click on that where it says Monk on Arm Strike, if you click the actual word, it'll roll damage. Nope. Um, right nope. actually in the chat window there. There we go. So four points of bludgeoning damage. A little smack on the rump. All right, so that's your action. And then as a bonus action, do you want to strike out as well? I would. Can I okay. do another, another uh, hit? We'll take that 13, because that 13 is a hit. Oh, okay. So go ahead and roll more damage. Uh, for another six. <laughs> so with the second strike, you actually managed to take that right out. Very nice. Yay! Wonderful times. Good job. Proud of you. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, anything else? No. I'm good. Alrighty. You all hear a slight rustling sound and then a war cry as Gosh. these strange little beings pop out of the woods and all together yell, Smart! And they begin to charge you. This is some bullshit. Uh, so. It's so heavy. These ones are going to charge up right here. Um, and they are going to attempt to shove you prone, Arbit. So I need a uh, athletics or acrobatics check. Do acrobatics. Okay. Um, he tries to shove you prone and kind of grabs you a little bit and you manage to slip out of his grasp. <laughs> um, Not the, today. Uh, the other one is going to try to do the same thing. Three. Oh, All right. This time he succeeds and grabs you and shoves you prone. So right. they touched Arbit. They did touch Arbit. So they have Ooh, to make constitution saving throws. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, the first one is a 19, and the second one is a 13. What's the spell save on it? 12. Okay, so okay. neither of them were fine. <laughs> Gotta try, what? right? <laughs> Alright, so they shove you prone. Um, these ones are gonna sh come in over here. Um, and they are going to try to shove Heek prone. So Heek, I need either an acrobatics or athletics check. I'm gonna go down All right, so he actually manages to shove you to the ground. No. Uh, and the other one's going to pull out a little short sword and is gonna try to shank you. So he's actually gonna get advantage on the attack because you're prone. Oh, uh, that's fuck? gonna be. A that's going to be a 23 to hit. And that's going to be seven points of piercing damage on you. Oof. I'd like to remind everybody that the record for least played sessions with a character is two. <laughs> well, I'm going to break um, that record today. <laughs> these, the guys, <laughs> these guys are going to dash in. Kind of getting into position here, just like that. This one's going to kind of dash in from the bottom. These guys are going to dash 60 feet. We'll get just there. And we will get right there. So all of them are dashing and just kind of swarm ambush pack tactics out of nowhere. That'll bring us to Arbit. You're up. Okay, I'm um, going to... Um, apparently use half my movement to stand up, and I'm going to attempt to grab and headbutt one of them. Okay. It's another arm strike. Alright, which one are you trying to hit? Uh, the one to my right. Okay, the nine is going to be a miss. Right. Fuck that. <laughs> Fair blow is a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two more strikes. Just literally gonna headbutt again and again. <laughs> oh my god! One of them will get through with a 19 for four points, okay? But I don't think 
It has to take the con save every time. I don't think so. I think it's... I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't either. Let me look it up real quick. Um, poisonous skin. Any creature that grapples you that otherwise comes to direct contact with your skin. Um, it's gonna be DM's call. Yeah, no. He'll, he'll have to... Uh, it's part of the build, so he'll make the con save. Uh, that is a natural 20. It's <laughs> just fine. <laughs> All of that for a nat 20. Yep. <laughs> um, well, but now we know. But now we know. Bonus action and... Yep. That's all you got. Alrighty, that'll bring us to Autumn. Autumn is going to pull out her two melee weapons of choice, the scimitar and the hand axe, and okay. attack the rat in a blind rage because that rat is the only thing in her world right now. <laughs> Uh, 19. 19 will hit. Four points of damage. Sure. All right, that's a kill on the rat. She is going to take the attacks of opportunity in a blind rage. Okay. So. Um, They are going to attempt to grapple you as an attack of opportunity. Oh. So I need either an acrobatics or athletics check. Acrobatics... Actually, I'm going to need two of them, because they're both going to try to grapple you. Seven and then um, 19, so... So the first one actually does grab you, and the second one kind of grabs and misses, like, uh, but he does prevent you from moving away as you are grappled. Okay, well... It is nope. a special feature of this creature. No, no, you're good. Blind Rage, I'm yeah. going to bonus action, two-weapon fighting, and... Use the hand axe on the other one. Getting kind okay. of... <laughs> Why can't you let me kill this rat? It is just a rat with wings, right? The bat thing? Nope. Nine. Again, nine... A nine is a miss. Nine is a miss. Nine. Yep. That's my turn. I am grappled. You are grappled. All <laughs> right. Uh, Lilia, you are up. Okay. Um... Are these two right here within... Like, they're considered within five feet, even though they're adjacent, right? Sorry, which are two? Other, these two. Yeah, those would be considered five feet. Okay. I'm going to acid splash the two of them. Ooh, all right. So they're both going to make For dexterity saving throws. Uh, the Zvart is going to fail, and the giant rat is going to pass. So the Zvart will take... One point of acid damage. Ah, that's right! Okay, and then a bonus action, I'm going to healing word the bird. Ba -ba -ba -bird, bird, bird. bird. The bird is the word. Four, five. So I have five! Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Which one okay. plus five I can do? My turn. Alrighty, Elena, you're up. Thank you. Alright, we got a lady. We're gonna take uh, take out this lovely quarter staff, and we're gonna we're gonna strike out at it. Uh, then we're gonna go after Rat Boy, try to get rid of the last rat. Okay. Oh yeah, with the Lucy, uh, twenty one will hit for four points. Uh, <laughs> still standing, still standing. That is all I freaking got. All, all right. Stick. You're a dude with a stick. Level one. Blue and Lucy. <laughs> all right. Uh, for non friends. <laughs> uh, that'll be the giant rat is going to uh, not take that going down. Uh, so that'll he's going to attack you back, uh, Lena, at advantage with pack tactics. Is going to be a seventeen. Oh yeah. And that'll be four points of piercing right back. And I'm going right. to need a Constitution saving throw. Yeah, you're just fine. You're just fine. Alrighty, that'll bring us to back to the top of the initiative is Heek. Can I do anything? Uh so you're you're alive, you're just on the ground. He kinda like shoved you on the ground. Okay. Yeah. So if you like to recommend standing back up again. <laughs> Not a bad idea. So no, yeah, so if you it, if you want to stand up, it's half your movement to do so. Okay. 
All right, so you can stand up. That'll cost you 15 movement. Well, hold on. If, do I have to stand up in order to fly, or can I just pounce up and fly? I would say you'd have to stand up in order to start flying. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Perspective. Because the ruling, okay. like, uh, the if ruling... you like, imagine like you're laying on your back, right? Like, yeah, no, I get yeah. it. Yeah. The, the wording of it is half movement, so mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know if it would just be your walking speed or your flying speed, but it would be it would be either. Yeah, so yeah. it's going to expend half of your movement, no matter what form of movement you use. Yeah, but you do have okay. more fly speed than you do walk speed. I do. Mm-hmm. But if you try to move, you're gonna get a lot of opportunity attacks. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but they a bunch of bitches. They just trying to hug us. Um. It'll only kill our bit. Can I? I would like to try to talon attack. The how do I? How do I highlight? If you click and hold, it'll ping. That guy. Can I All talent right. him? Absolutely, go for it. Okay. A nine is going to be a miss, unfortunately. Um, okay. We know that uh, all too well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Any bonus actions? Good. Would I be able to go up into the air? Or that would just be part of first. That would be part of your movement, which you can okay. do. But just know that if you do leave that threatened square, that would be four oh, opportunities. Right. Never mind. You. Yeah. Never mind. So yeah. as a bonus, can I unarmed? Absolutely. Yeah, because you're okay. a monk, you can kind of get two attacks. Okay. You know, action and bonus action. Twenty. All right, please. twenty. There we go. Now we're getting <laughs> some damage done. Okay. Um, Button roll. Yes. Eight. Uh, so that's just going to be the seven because the eight, mm-hmm. the plus one's from the crit. But that seven damage is actually enough to get that kill. You actually kind of like flap up a little bit and just scratch the shit out of his face with your talons, and, uh, and then he's go, uh, yeah, uh, he kind of fire as he falls and, and dies in a horrific death of blood. Fair enough. Alrighty, anything else? No. <laughs> Okie dokie. That'll bring us to the Svart's turn. Um, all right. Because uh, Den and I are a bonus action, so I can't do yeah. anything else. Yeah, so you've action okay. and bonus action. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. These two are going to... So this one's got you grappled. He is going to bonus action disengage and drag you... Away. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, this one's also kitty, going. Kitty, kitty. This one also is going to bonus action disengage, staying right there, and he is going to use the help action to help his buddy maintain the grapple on you. Okay. Uh, so should <laughs> you try to es- should you try to escape, the oh. other one will have advantage on his check to to maintain it. It's some utter bullshit, but okay. This is some. This is some. The monsters know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Um, these three don't like the poison. Uh, they're gonna try to. Uh, they're each gonna make an attack on you, Arbit. They're gonna pull out a couple of little short swords. So three attacks against you. Uh, first one's a fifteen. Yep. All right, that's going to be five points of piercing. Second one is a 10. That's a miss. And the last one is a 22. That's going to get in for six points of piercing. So a total of 11 damage on you there. All right. Um, let's see. This one's going to sidestep here uh, and is going to attack Lena. Lena, that's going to be a natural one. It's a miss against you. Thanks, uh, buddy. <laughs> this one is going to uh, see you kill um, kill its buddy. It's going to just straight up try to shank you, Heek. This one on the left here is going to try to shank you. Uh, that's going to be an 11 to hit. That'll miss. 
And then these two up top are going to attempt to shove uh, Willia prone. So, Willia, I need an acrobatics or athletics. Your choice. Alrighty. 17's a good roll, but I actually did get a natural 20 at advantage. So you are shoved prone. Hmm. And the other one is actually going to pull out a net and is going to attempt to throw the net over you. Um, so that is going to be at advantage a 22. Uh, so, Lilia, you are grappled and restrained by the net and prone. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a sudden and unexpected happenstance. <laughs> Already, that's, that's... the meaning of consent. I have, a, I have a quick question. Sure, what's up? How do I know when things will hit me? Because you said it was 11, but it wouldn't hit me. But I don't. Uh, so basically, you have your armor class at the top of your character sheet. Oh, okay, so that's the yep. number. Yep. Okay. So that's the number I have to meet or exceed to hit you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, baby. <laughs> no worries, no worries. You're doing good. <laughs> You're doing good, so kid. I think, I think your AC is a 14? 15. 13? 15. Wow, okay. So, we, we, yeah. We I did have some to get, rearranging yeah. last night. I have to get at least a 15 to hit you. Okay. Cool. Alrighty, that's it for the Sparts turns. That's going to bring us to Arbit. Alright, bonus action disengage. Okay. Um, 5, 10, 15. Grab the dagger and throw it at this one. Okay. A 13 will hit for four okay. points of piercing, and that's enough for the kill. All right. Don't even need to have you roll that con. What up? <laughs> uh, that was action, bonus, and movement, I think. But yeah, he has, he has more movement. You do have more movement. Oh, I'm just going to rejoin the fight. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, all set? Yeah, that's what I got. Alright, sick turn, sick turn. That'll bring us to Autumn. Autumn, you're currently being dragged off by these two... Uh, well, let's, let's get a close-up of these creatures. These are like tiny little... They almost look like human toes. Um, They have these like pale blue skins, these like beady orange eyes. They're somewhere between... Like a goblin and a kobold in their in their demeanor and their posture and their their forms. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> they do indeed look like Sid from Ice Age. So I am Perfect. going to right. <laughs> attack the helper right here, right now. Okay. Fuck me. The eleven is going to be a miss. After bonus, the session. Bonus action hand axe to the helper. Okay. Oh, oh man. That's rough, buddy. Grandpa Rooney, the San Francisco treat. <laughs> and those were both 19s on the crits, too. God damn it. Mm. Fucking champions come at work, coming to work hard. I'm here. All right. It wouldn't be the first time I've gotten kidnapped in the Hollywood, Luke. <laughs> all right that's it for autumn that'll bring us to lilia lilia you are on the ground just wrapped up in this net so what do i need to do like acrobatics to try to get out uh so to get out of the net it would be a strength check oh, um or you can attempt to actually damage the net if you'd like like you could cut the net or burn the net it actually does have a like a armor's class and hit points can I reach over with my talon? Yeah, I'll probably go with that, because I have, like, negative strength. Just a will guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't equip my weapons, so I don't have them. <laughs> what uh, weapons do you have? It's fine, I have them on my um, roll 20 sheet. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, 
So you're like trying your best uh, to kind of like pull out a, a small knife and try to like cut at the net. But unfortunately, in the way that your like arms and your shoulders are kind of like bent, it's making it very difficult for you to, to actually get any sort of leverage. Uh, so a nine is a miss on the net. Some more lay here. <laughs> Dead fish time. <laughs> I just want you guys to know I am very offended by you taking <laughs> the mission. Oh, Wait, what was that? Just talking to Sid. Oh, blue oh. guys, I'm not them touching you without my permission. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> she was netted without consent. This is an oh. issue. Yeah, you're right, it is. Anyway. Uh, all right, that's going to bring us to Lena. All right. Um, I'm going to take the attack of opportunity from Rat Boy and move up. Okay. One. He's going to jump out at you. That'll be actually with pack tactics. That would be a crit. Okay. So that's going to be eight points of piercing damage. Gets okay. a nice chop, like right on the back of the thigh. Right. Um, and I'm gonna take Lucy and strike out at whatever one is holding the net. I guess that'd be the guy right in front of you. All right. And fucking whiff. Nine is a whiff. And I'm definitely drinking a health potion after that. Okay. All right. So eight health back. Okay. All right. And that's all I got. Okay, dokie. That'll bring us to the rat. Um. The rat is going to... There's three up there. There's only two down here. We're going to swoop down towards Arbit. And we're going to attack at advantage with pack tactics. It's going to be a 23 on you, Arbit. No, that doesn't hit. All right. That's going to be three points of piercing damage. And I need a constitution saving throw. I probably need to make one too, huh, Luke? Uh, yes, as he did bite you. My bad. You guys are both just fine. You guys are both just fine. Alrighty, top of the round. That's going to bring us to Heek. Okay. Quick question. Can I... grab the net and fly away with Lilia? You want to, like, try to, um... Like, you'd basically Talon? Like, Talon you'd be, like, her up act, and you'd whisper be, like, her away. So, it'd be, like, action to grapple and then movement. Um, so one of them is holding her. So it would be a contested oh. athletics to, like, see who's stronger in in holding it. Ooh, athletics but you could... is bad. Ugh. So this guy is holding her, correct? Uh, the one right in front of Lena, yes, this one. Here, oh, I'll mark that him. one? I will mark him with a little, yeah. Okay. Well, I went out the window. I am just going to try to talon that man. Wait, right. hold uh, on. So can I I'm, talon the net and just free her? Would that be... Do your talons deal slashing damage? They do. Then yeah, you can slash. try to slash the net. So I action to slash net. Yeah. Well, you have to roll to see if you can do it. Yeah. So just like a normal attack. Yeah. So 18 will hit. 18 will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. You're free. And yeah, you actually managed to slash that net wide open, freeing Lilia and removing her grapple and restraint condition. Nice. Okay. Hooray. (laughs) And then bonus unarm this man. Uh, which one? Uh, this one. Okay, cool. You. Oh, Natural fuck. one, oof. <laughs> uh, okay, well, um... Nice try, big bird! I got the net. This... Yeah, right? Big bird. <laughs> I'm so small! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Birds Alrighty, cool. that's it for Heek, then. That'll bring Mm -hmm. us to the Sparts. All right. Um, These ones are going to continue to do the same thing. Uh, So they are going to action to drag you away. 5, 10, 15. Actually, he can dash. 
30 feet. The other one is going to use his action to help. Um, let's see. Uh, this one is going to attempt to grapple you, Willia. So, Willia, I need an acrobatics or athletics at disadvantage. You just saved her. God damn it. Uh, you managed to escape from the first one. The second one's going to try to grab you. So I need another ac acrobatics or athletics. And you managed to escape both of them. You, they're like trying to like pounce and like grab onto you and try to pull you away. And you're just like wiggling around, uh, knocking over your monitor uh, and uh, managing to escape their grasp. Um, let's see. This one is going to give Lena a bop there. So we will attack with the short sword there. It's going to be an eight. That's a miss. Uh, this one's going to try to attack Heek. Heek, that's a 14. That's a miss because your AC is a 15. Uh, then these two are going to try to take out Arbit. So Arbit coming at you. That's an eight is a miss. And a 15. Hits. 15 hits for six points of piercing on you. All right. Oh, no. All right, and that's it for their turn. That's going to bring us to Arbit. Okay, um, it's kind of bullshit. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to bonus action disengage. Okay. Um, 5, 10, grab my dagger, 15, 20, 25, and I'm going to huck it at whatever the one is helping. Uh, so the one on top is helping. Yep. Yeah, we're going to throw it at him. Okay. Do it. 21 is a hit. For seven. seven. Freaking dead eye. <laughs> right between the eyes. Ooh. No poison needed. That one's a goner. That's my kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take. Let them take me. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm just be like, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to walk with him. <laughs> That's how we will get abducted in the Howling Woods again. <laughs> again. On, Autumn is now helping. Alrighty, anything else for Arbit? Um, let's see, hold on. I moved to 30. We'll just get a, we'll close the gap a little bit. That's all. Okay. okay. And you've been marking off the, the key point every time you disengage is the bonus, right? Yeah, that was the last one. Yeah, because you, yeah, because you just, this is the second time that you did one flurry of blows. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. Alrighty. That'll bring us to Autumn. Autumn, you're getting dragged away still. I'm aware. Um, <laughs> I'm going to attack the one that's grappling me. Okay. Fucking hell. Nine is a miss. <laughs> I haven't rolled anything but a nine, and I kind of like it. 17 with the bonus. Action. 17, there we go. That'll For get in there. Not a lot of damage, but... <laughs> One I point. Nick him. Grazing blow. I nick him. Grazing blow. Um, you just pierced that man's lip. Yeah. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. All righty. Bye, that'll Billy. Bring us, uh, that'll bring us to Lilia on the ground still. I like to stand up. Okay, easy enough to do so. Um... And I'm going to hit the guy right in front of me. Well, the one on the bottom, I guess. That guy? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to hit him with infestation. Ooh. That's a constitution save. Ooh. Uh, let's see. That's going to be a nine. So that's a failure. So he's going to take one point of poison damage. And then there's another effect on that, right? Yeah. He, he tries to. Does he run in like a random direction or? Yeah, one d four, and then it's north, south, east, west based on the Okay. Picture. All right. So a three. He's going to move to the east as far as he can, or t five feet. Five. So he's going to sidestep oh, right there. Actually, yeah, five feet. So then, does that allow Heek to make a? Uh, attack? It does not provoke opportunity Force attacks. Movement doesn't usually. Yeah. yeah. Okie dokie. 
All set? Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Awesome turn for Willia. That'll bring us to Lena. Alrighty. Um, the one... Did the one in front of me take damage, like, to the north of me? Uh, neither of those are touched yet, but the okay. one to the south has taken one point. All right, I will I will go after the one to the south then, since okay. the other one's no longer a better better. Thirteen's a hit. Oh yeah, you just snap his jaw right off, Ooh. the hinges, and uh, lights out for that guy. All righty, hey, would you look at that? It's my turn. <laughs> All righty, the giant rat is gonna go. And kind of scurry right on up here to uh, Lilia, and is going to take a little. <laughs> going to take a little nibble. At advantage, it's going to be a nineteen. Yeah. That's going to be six points of piercing. Okay. All right, and that'll bring us to the top of the round. Is he? Oh, I need to do a con save. Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry, I always forget about the disease. <laughs> the what? Chocolate! <laughs> You're just fine. You're just fine. For now. For now. Oh, okay. Alright, Heek, you are up. I'm gonna try to talent this guy right here. Go for it. That one. God damn it. Oh, no. That's a miss. Another nine. Hey, Luke, fudge your nine. rolls. Don't fudge ours. I'm not touching your wall! <laughs> if this session's name isn't the rule of nines, I quit. I'll figure it out. I'll uh, work it out. Okay. Bonus! <laughs> Unarmed! Same guy! Natural one! No! Oh, you God. guys! God damn it. <laughs> um. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm out! Huh. I don't know. <laughs> That's going to bring us to the Svarts. Um, we should do everybody else first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, this one's going to try to get right back at you, Heek. He's going to attack. That's going to be a 14, which is a miss. Uh, these two are going to go there. Um, they're going to try to gang up on Lena. So we're going to try to shove you prone, Lena. I need an athletics or acrobatics. Come on, cartwheel. Yeah. Okay, so the first one shoves you prone. Uh, and then the second one's going to try to shank you at advantage. Okay. It's going to be an eight. That's a miss. Um, these two are going to step up and also try to shank you. Just trying to pin cushion you here. Um, the first one at advantage is a 20. That's going to be eight points, of, eight points of piercing. And the okay. second one to add advantage is a 13. That'll just miss. Okay. One hit, one miss. And then this guy over here um, is going to... <sighs> He's kind of a coward. He got hit. This guy's fucking throwing knives at people's faces. He's going to let go of you. He's going to bonus action disengage, and he's going to fucking take off running. He's gone. Cow, you're a coward! You're a coward, I Luke! Believe, I believe the uh, word you're looking for is you're a pussy. <laughs> Alrighty. No, that'll bring us Luke, to Arbit. you take me with you. Fuck that, he wants to live! <laughs> Arbit, you're um, up. Okay. Five feet. Grab my dagger. 10, 15, 20. 25. We're going to throw it at this guy. Okay. There's a crit. Let's Ooh, fucking go. Hot stuff. Yeah, that's a kill. Thank God someone's doing something. Right. <laughs> we're doing something. We're just taking naps. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> So another 10 feet to close the gap. Okay. And that's my uh, action. 
I don't think I really have a bonus action. Oh, you know what? Bonus action, I can use a healing potion, right? You can indeed. 2d4 plus 2. Seven. Alrighty, All right. so seven health there. Nice. All right. That'll bring us to Autumn. All right, so... Uh, got a bonus action second win, because why not at this point? Okay. And that'll... Fighter stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Comes back on a short rest. Why not? Hopefully. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to... Shoot that one. Which one, sorry? The one north of uh, Lena. Okay, this guy right here. Yep. Twenty-three. There 23. we go. That's a. That's. You're not just using nine. the wrong weapons. You're just not used to melee. Oh no, I'm yeah. aware. <laughs> Eleven points of damage. Right through the torso. And she's sure gonna, to Boromir this guy. Yeah. She's gonna just hang out where she is right now because. Okay. Fuck it. Beautiful, beautiful. That extra plus two does matter. <laughs> it does. All right, that'll bring us to Lilia. Mm, can I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my corpse pile over here because I'm losing <laughs> losing track of baddies. Oh yes, please lose track of a more of them. All right, um... just gonna do that to the guy ahead of me. Of me. Okie dokie. Uh, he's going to make a constitution saving throw. That's a natural one, so he will take three points of poison damage, and he's going to roll 1d4. And he's going to move to the south, I think. But he can't move, so he can't move. He can't move. He kind of like bumps into you and says, Svart. Alright. Svart. Um. <laughs> oh, hi, is Mark. That's my turn. Okay, Elena, you're up. Alright, I will use half my movement to stand up. Um, I'm gonna try to take out the fucking mouse. <laughs> okay. And fail. And fail. Seven is a miss. Alright, I am going to also second wind here. Wonderful. Three health. Ah, ah, ah. Yep. <clears throat> and that's all I got. Alright, giant rat's gonna go. Um, the giant rat is gonna bite out at Heek. At advantage. Heek, that's a 21 to hit. That's gonna be five points of piercing damage. And I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Oh god. You're just fine. You're just fine. Oh, I am not all the con all the con saves are just fine. These this You're rat ain't even garbage. <laughs> Alright. Top of the round, Heek, you've got the initiative. Okay. I'm gonna hit this rat bastard. Yay! Okay. Fucking damn it. Oh, nine is a miss. Nine is a miss. Oh my god, the nines! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do it again! Do it again! But better. There, there we go. Oh, you right, oh. Okay. Sorry. For six points, that kills the rat bastard. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Nice. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Alrighty. Any movement, or are you staying where you are? Uh, no, because I don't want anyone to hit me, because I am back to 1 HP. Smart, smart. Okay. That'll bring us to these varts. Um, this vart Three. is going to... Huh. They're outnumbered at this point. Um... <laughs> This one's going to bonus action disengage and just take off running. He's gone. He says fuck that. Um, this one is going to try to shove Lena. So Lena, I need an athletics or acrobatics check. Alright, cart me 
real time. Yeah, so he shoves you. You don't move at all. He's going to bonus action disengage. Fuck that. Bye. Uh, and a wonderful day. This one is going to go. He's going to stand and fight. He's going to go toe to toe with Heek. He's going to swing out with the short sword. Bro. Uh, that's a 12 to hit against you, Heek. That's a miss. My God. All right. That'll bring us to Arbit. Yep. Stepping in five feet, taking my dagger. And hawking it. All right. 13 is just barely a hit. And a kill. Nice. All right. Very nice. That's my turn. And Autumn... Line up a shot on this one. Um, Go Luke, for it. Yes. I want to do minimum damage. Why? I want to scare it off. You want to scare it, or you just don't care about the bird person dying? I want to scare it off. <laughs> and we will go for what we think later. <laughs> but I just want to hit and do the minimum amount of damage to this thing. I don't what's want the to... minimum of done what's the minimum amount of damage you can do four okay so if you hit you I will okay this is interesting because this is kind of a called shot sort of thing mm-hmm kind of like, say kinda like hold not pulling it to full strength just like yeah so it's I'm gonna say you're gonna take a minus two to your attack roll okay That'll be 20. Easy enough. Easy enough. 20 definitely hits. For and you deal points four of points of damage. And okay. I imagine that's still probably enough to scare the shit out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, All right. that'll bring us to Lilia. I don't know if they understand common, and I don't want to shout my idea. <laughs> so, I'm not taking that risk. Hopefully you guys... You guys get it. Out of character. <laughs> Okay, I'm good. All right, Lilia and Lena. Uh, I guess I would know that like Autumn didn't seem like she was pulling Bo back all the way and wasn't trying to kill the guy. It's a fair assumption. I, I guess I'll just uh, action dodge. Okay. Autumn's been popping some dingers when she does hit. Yeah. Yeah, that's saying like she aimed okay. at his shoulder or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was like an there was an intent behind that shot. All right, and Lena. I would like to move over, and I don't want to do damage, but basically I want to take my bat and just kind of sweep the legs out and trip them make him go okay, prone. So that'd be a shove attack. Yep, so that would be an athletics. That'd be contested athletics. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, yeah, unfortunately. Hops right over your bat. <laughs> well, shit. That's all I got. Good thought, though. Good thought. Uh, there's no more rats, so Heek, you're up. Oh, okay. I would like to talons. Going for the kill? Yes. Okay. 16 will hit. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, max damage. Uh, yeah. You shred this guy to fucking pieces. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. And with that, for the moment, the clearing is quiet. For the so, moment? Bird. Guys. Oh, no. We're doing a little bit of roleplay real quick. Sorry. Okay. Bird. It, yes? We're going to follow that one. We got two more. We can go follow. I just, I just didn't want to die. I'm feeling really sleepy, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna be too mean because Autumn's not that mean. <laughs> I, I can't bring myself to do it. That's the problem. Because I, I love Tad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now you can continue, Luke. Alrighty, so guys, we're going to go ahead and take a short rest, and we will pick up in about 
10 we'll try to keep this one short it is 8 30. um like a five minute little quick break uh use the bathroom peel up get some snacks get some drinks and we'll do be our right players back get folks. A short Stay rest? Tuned. players do get a short rest characters get a I'm short a rest too yes characters sh yeah all right I'm, I'm Bye. all right
four, three, two, one. Fight. Fight, Slag. <laughs> you want to have a cheeky Pokemon fight? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for hanging out during that quick little short rest. Our players are all healed up, ready to go, recharged, and we're going to jump right back into it. So you guys have just fought these strange little blue-skinned creatures that seem to want to drag off a couple of you. Um, and a couple of the dead volunteers from the uh, the animal shelter. A couple, couple of them did escape. Uh... You guys have taken about an hour or so to tend to your wounds and think about your next move. So I'll kind of leave it to you guys. Should we follow? Do we, do we follow? Yeah, the one that had Autumn. And then decided he didn't want Autumn anymore. Do we follow I, I, that one? I, I certainly didn't would even like ask. to find that one again. Sounds fair. All right, then... Autumn, I'd like you to make me a survival check. Oh, I'm not good at those. Really? No. Oh. I mean, I got a positive number, which is something. 19, <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, this thing, being in fear for its life, was taking no care whatsoever to for any regard of hiding its trail. And... Very easily you find a series of footprints and snap branches and rustled bushes and stuff that lead you further deeper into the Howling Wood. Um, however, as you follow the trail, very quickly it begins to grow thicker and denser and the canopy grows heavier. And although you know you left only just a couple hours ago, it should still be morning you find almost this eerie twilight-like darkness uh, coming over the forest. And through following it with your 19, after about half an hour or so, we're going to put you guys to the next map. And it is a little bit darker than the first map. Uh, so all of you guys should have vision. Let me know if you don't. Yep. Mm, do yep. Hmm? I do see. I do declare. Uh, as you're following, you kind of stop uh, at the entrance of what looks like a cliff face or a series of caves, and you see three of these creatures speaking to each other. You see one of them kind of exasperatedly gesturing, just Zvart! 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 And the other ones are like, Zvart. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to have spotted us at this point. No, they seem fully enraptured by the one in the middle who's who's telling the story. Zvart, 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 and Zvart, and Zvart, 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 Zvart. Zvart, Zvart. How don't... big are they? These guys are, like, they are considered small, so they're almost, like, gnome-sized. I gnomes. don't want to alarm anybody. I believe Zvart is contextual. <laughs> so I, I Zvart my family. Zvart. Ew, gross. All right, I Zvart guys, I my got, pants? I got this. I am going to action change into looking like one of them. I immediately, oh, shoot. Shit. I immediately shoot the the Zvart spy. No, I'm kidding. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are the limitations on your shapeshifting? It just says, as an action, you can change your appearance and your voice. You determine the specifics, including your coloration, hair light, sex, height, and weight. You make yourself appear as another race, although none of your game stats change. You can't duplicate the appearance of a creature you've never seen, and you must adopt a form that has the same basic arrangement. Your clothing and equipment are not changed by the tree. Okay. So you would look like a Zvart just in this, like, big, like, blanket of, uh... <laughs> yeah, just, like, like wrapped in on the... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, okay. It looks like, like <laughs> your dad's extra, extra large shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And I am <laughs> going to <laughs> I love run, this. Run up and just go Spark 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 You see them all you see them all pull out swords. Spark! Spark 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 And then I'm gonna point like 
in the northern direction here. Spart! 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 Zvart you! And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna smack <laughs> that. While she's doing that, I was gonna try and take a flank. Okay, uh, j- you, they're definitely distracted if you wanna, like, kind of move into position. Okay. Any, anybody else wanna, like, do anything quick, little. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to draw their attention towards the north, so if you guys wanna, like, go around. Can I go twenty here flying? Ooh. Yeah. 20 flying. Okay. Uh, like I, am, I am in the air. I am going to pop feline agility to give myself 60 feet of movement till the end of my turn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and dang. I'm just going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm just bolting for that cave. Okay. Easy. And with that, I need everybody to go ahead and roll initiative. Oh. Are oh, you? Do I get the smack in first? You, I will say you do get one surprise attack, yes. Okay. You actually take that motherfucker out. <laughs> Just fucking clock him. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four. We're just missing. Who are we missing? Heek. Okay, got a. I got a four. Got the natural one. Okay. No big deal. All right, so getting the jump on these guys through some interesting deception. Uh, Autumn, you have the initiative. Oh, shit, I do, huh? <laughs> um, well, as we said, it's fart you. I'm going to... These guys can handle themselves. I'm going to go you? into the cave. Okay. I'm going to double move because I'm an idiot. I'm a dog. Oh, other stuff. <laughs> Good. Oh, sorry. Right. That's the turn. I'm going to add these things to the initiative. Because uh, you were not being sneaky. You were moving at full speed. I had to, yeah. Yep. Uh, so this one's going to be. Smart, smart. As well. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm assuming you should not call me that, but okay. <laughs> okay. Um So, uh Autumn, that was your turn. Yeah. That'll bring us to Arbit. Okay. I'm gonna run thirty five feet up to the one right in front of me. Okay. And take a whack at it. <laughs> Maybe. If I'm allowed to. <laughs> yeah. I'm allowed. Okay, well. Oh, boy, Sorry. The 10 is going to be a miss. Alright, that's my turn. I'm going to save the bonus action for now. Oh, you get one bonus attack, and attack for free. Oh, yeah, okay. Might as well take it. Yeah. <clears throat> now he wants to calm down a little bit. Ugh. That'll do it. 20 will get in. For six, almost a killing strike, but he is still yeah, well, up. Save. Oh, you're right, you're right, because poison, because poison, you're right. Uh, that's a two on the con save, so no matter what, <laughs> poison damage is going to kill him. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wrong stuff. <laughs> All righty. You hear the flapping of wings, Autumn, and you see coming at you is this, like, massive leathery flapping hideously screeching creature uh that has 40 feet of movement kind of flying through this uh crevice is actually gonna fly up and attempt to grapple you oh fucking not again (laughs) just a grappling kind of kind of person they were they were starting about you (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, All right, so acrobatics or athletics? Yep. That'd be an 18. All right, you're pretty slippery. Uh, so it's kind of like mm -hmm. reaching out at you with these little bat claws and can't quite get its grasp on you. All righty. I'd like to remind everybody I am sober. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. From deeper in the cave, you hear a, a deeper, more grisly voice. Zvart, Zvart. Zvart, 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 Zvart. And, Oh no, the evolved uh, form. The evolved form is going to step out. You see this one dressed a little more ceremoniously, and it's got a staff in its hand. Uh, it's going to look down towards you, Autumn, and it kind of takes the staff and goes, Zvart, 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 and it kind of thrusts with the staff, and it's going to shoot out an Eldritch Blast at you. Uh, that's gonna yes, be a fifth you, Autumn. Place it by only That's gonna be. Uh, that's that's gonna be a hit. fifteen to hit. Is gonna be two points of force damage. Can't even fucking bother to take agonizing blast. God fucking damn it. They're level. Come on. <laughs> the evolved forms, Spartacus. Ah <laughs> oh, boy, that's okay. Alrighty. That'll be it for him. That'll bring us to Lena. I am going to shamble over in my way too big clothes now and try to... <laughs> you still look like a small <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's an action to change back, so... Um, <laughs> I will take Lucy and just give it a little smack. 22 for 4, okay. Spark. <laughs> spark! 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 That's all I got. <laughs> if you heard me yell, I don't uh, like rats. Right? I want you to know that I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. This one's going to bonus action disengage. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And it's going to action to dash. And it's just getting the fuck out of there. Mm -hmm. Um... It's just yelling, Sorry, 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 It's just screaming, like trying to set the alarm and alert. Alert. Um, it did not provoke an attack of opportunity. Oh, you did the disengage. Correct. Yeah, they can disengage as a bonus action. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, this one is going to move here, and he's going to actually go. Okay. That'll bring us to Lilia. I'm just gonna run after Autumn's and clear away the dangers past as far as that boy. You should take a okay. different tunnel. You should take a different you tunnel? Should, you should take... Mm -hmm. You should go, You should prescribe to the, to the Wee Woo and Kraken school of splitting the party and take yeah, you a completely no, different route from all the other I'm people. I'm like... I will let Kraken do that. Okay, all not, right, fine, but... fine, I get it. Make, let let the experts do it. I get you, I get you. That's not the crunchy granola approach that I tend to take. <laughs> it's all natural, grass-fed <laughs> stupidity. Uh, I gotta, I gotta keep the girl power together. <laughs> I mean, if it was Arba, I probably would have left because he seemed like a guy. So. <laughs> seemed oh, like oh, a guy. he's both. <laughs> I looked it up in the break. They naturally can change sex. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, now we know. <laughs> Anything else for you, Lilia? Was that a dash if action? Yeah. If you choose okay. to portray yourself as a man, clearly you have misguided judgment and cannot be trusted. <laughs> I don't know what I am. Alrighty, that'll bring us to Heek. I am going to go ahead and fly 50. Okay. And then in the air, can I hold a dodge? Yep. Okay, I would evasive, like to... evasive maneuvers. Yes, I would like to hold a dodge and be right here. Okie dokie. Cool. I'm not going far from my savior, the plant lady. <laughs> Alrighty. That'll bring us to the top of the round is Autumn. Alright, this thing is... Uh... In my face, I gotta, I gotta go back to melee. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
Main hand. Oh, that's a crit. Let's go. Very nice. Champion crit. Wowza. And nine points. Nine points of wowza damage. Wowza damage right there. <laughs> um. Oh! Double crits. That was a oh, 19. Man. For eight For points of damage. Eight. Wow. Uh, Slicing um, and dicing um, this thing. Um, um, action surge. Oh shit, okay. We're on fire. Might as well go and do this now. And Riding for, the high. Yeah, I gotta ride the high. Ride the fighter high, baby. And main hand attack. 17? 17 will hit. Fuck yeah. Eight points of slashing. That actually takes it out. Oh! With three rapid attacks, scimitar, hand axe, scimitar, you manage to chop through the leathery fabric of this bat's wings, and it kind of collapses to the ground. You just stomp on the thing's head. It's no longer a threat. And feline agility resets. That's my turn. Alrighty. Hell yeah. That'll bring us to Arbit. Uh, I'm going to go follow the other one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Right. Uh. <laughs> Good luck, frog person. The movement. <laughs> bonus action was the step of the wind. Okay. And we're going to take a... Uh, Hard arm strike at it. Go for it. Ten is a miss. Fucker. Alright, that's Party it for needs, me. Party needs a bard. Nah, we're good. <laughs> Alright. That was action, bonus action, and movement. So that is yep. it for Arbit. The giant bat is dead. So I'm just going to make a corpse pile over here. Um, Pepperonis. You hear uh, this one with the staff kind of shouting out, Zvart, 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 Zvart. And he's going to slam the staff on the ground, and he's actually going to cast uh, Mage Armor on himself. So he will just take a turn to get a little tankier. Uh, you actually see uh, coming from the other side. Actually, you wouldn't see that. Um, this one's also going to take the time to, to cast Mage Armor on itself. Okay. That'll bring us to Lena. You're up. Oh, I'm just going to go run after everybody. <laughs> Dash. And that's as far as I can get. Okie dokie. Right. That's my turn. Alright. Um, this Zvart is going to uh, try to throw a net onto you, Arbit. I don't um, like it. That's going to be an 18 to hit. Yep, that'll do it. Alright. So you are grappled and restrained. And he is going to leave you there. He's going to leave you grappled and restrained. He's going to bonus action disengage. And he's Bastard. just going to piece the fuck out. Oh no. Um, Alrighty, that's it for their turns that'll bring us to Lilia sorry I'm, I'm managing tokens that aren't technically on the screen yet but they're <laughs> they're still they're actually taking actions and preparing and doing things they're, they're being strategic so if I'm doing stuff and not saying stuff that's why sorry could, could, you, could you say what you're doing please no, because that gives away their strategy. <laughs> I feel like the strategy is Svart. Svart. Svart, 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 Svart. I should, Svart. I should just, I should just Svart it up. Yeah, for real. Svart's away. 
<laughs> All right, Lilia, you are up. You might be muted, Per. I'm, I'm going to move. Okay. Smaller. I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Um, if I move here... Okay, let me move here. Yep. Yeah, you can kind of decide as you go. Yeah, because I won't really know what to see. So this guy, the purple, is the major I'm going to run? Uh, correct, yep. Um... Okay. I'm going to cantrip him. Can you see him from right where you are? Yeah. You get the dirt, Divas. Okay. Yeah, that's right. You're you're a widow. Okay. I think you had to dash to get there, though, for. Oh, that's that's fair. Yeah, I did. You're right. So oh. I can't. I stay here. I stay here now. Alrighty, and that'll bring us to Heek. Okay. okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna fly 45 feet over here. Um, I would like to hold my dodge again, and that's it for now. Okie dokie. All right, top of the round is Autumn. Hey, so I think I saw one over here to the left, and then there's the one right here that I'm going to shoot. And I'm going to shoot it now. That's a 19 to hit. Uh, which one are you shooting? Sorry. The big end. The the one with the staff. Yeah, the one with the staff. All right, 19 will hit. Nice. Has uh, five points of piercing damage. Okay, he's going to take the five. As a reaction, though, I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. No. <laughs> That's a 20. A 20 will hit. Um, but he is going to use... Uh, let's see. He's Wait, going to use... A 20 dexterity save? And I... I failed? No, you succeed. Sorry. Okay. Uh, but you still take half damage from. <laughs> I, I Never mind. I don't know. What, I don't know what, what the do you fuck mean? He doesn't. I thought he had. I thought he had hellish rebuke. I'm reading spells wrong. He does not have hellish rebuke. Um. So never mind. That deck save. I wasted your roll. I'm sorry. You're good. I'll never forget. He you. takes five. Yeah, he takes <laughs> five. Continue. Um. But I am. I am directing my, my compatriots to the, the fact that there's another one. And of course, they see the giant bat corpse in front of me. Yeah. Yes. That that was alive before I got here. <laughs> it it looks fresh. Yes, that's my turn. Alrighty, Arbit, you're up. You are grappled and restrained in a net. Get me out alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can attempt to make a strength check to just burst through the net, or you can attempt to cut the net, or you can attempt to burn the net. However, you want to do it. You cannot, however, poison the net. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Um, you also so can't the, use psychic damage against the net. Is it like acrobatics or athletics to get out, or straight strength roll? Right. Yuck. Okay. No, I'm you're just here. Pushing, <laughs> pulling, and yanking. You are still stuck in this net. Okay, <laughs> that's my turn. Oh, no. Alrighty. Uh, the... The staffy Svarts are going to go. Um... You all heard him say Svarts. Right that, right? Svart, Svart, Svart? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, he's just going to... Pop an Eldritch Blast at you, Autumn. Okay. That's going to be a 22 to hit. Yo, that's a hit. For 7 force. Oh. Ugh. And then he's going to kind of tuck to the side here out of your line of sight. This one's going to move 5, 10, 15. It's going to do the same thing. Pop an Eldritch Blast at you. For a 19. Okay. For 10 points of force. Okay. And he's going to also use the rest of his moon uh, and get out of line of sight. Okay, fine. Ugh. <laughs> That'll bring us to Lena. Oh, that didn't feel good. Oh. I'm going to move here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. And... And I just point down the hallway like, 
It went that way. Mm -hmm. uh, can I see this one? A little bit of cover or something? Uh, well, because so with with if you click on your token and click Control L, you can see what only you see. Because you don't have dark vision, your sight is very limited. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've only got the 10 feet around you. Okay, I think it... It's, that's really weird, because I can see so much more, and I don't know why I can see more. Okay. Um... Then fuck it, I'm gonna... I'm gonna dash. Okay. So right there, you can see this guy on your left, and that's about it. Okay. Alright. And... Fuck it, I'm gonna drink a healing potion as a bonus action. Okay. Five health back. Alright, that's my turn. Okie dokie, the Svarts are gonna go. <laughs> They're gonna Svart it up. It's now a race. <laughs> it's not dodging anymore. Um, okay, they are going to... They're going to try to shank you. They're both okay. going to take an attack. Um, first one's a 12. Yes. Second one's a crit. Okay. Uh, the crit's going to be for six points of piercing damage. Okay. Alrighty. Um, and then this one's going to... Pulse. <laughs> gonna move right up there. That's his turn. That'll bring us to Lilia. I'm just going to move up a tiny bit. Okay. Here. Um. Alright, uh. And you've got vision pretty much of the entire cave here. Yeah. Um. I'm going to. Actually. So I, I can't actually see right here, like, but I can see right here, is what you're saying? Um, on your screen you can't? No, like, this is all dark, right, at, at this point, like, from here. Like, this is right here is my vision yeah. line. Uh, here, okay. Dead, I, would, right? I would trust your vision line, then. Okay. I would cook kind of fresh, really sweet one. Um, then I will... Garbage kind of I will cast uh, infestation again. Okay. Um, Which I'll one? The closest wall. Uh, well, actually, thirty feet. So I'll cast it on the that one back there. Okay. So he's gonna make a Constitution save. Uh, that's a fail with a two. So he's gonna take four points of poison, and then he's gonna roll one d four. Yeah. I was in there. Uh, like so three. You know what like, direction uh, the three is? Uh, three is east. So he's going to move one to that direction. Cool. Alrighty. Anything else? Um, yeah, I'm going to heal a lot of Okay. My bonus action. For seven. All Thank right. You. Autumn, Autumn gets healed for seven. And that is my spell slots. <laughs> All two of them. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Okie dokie. That will bring us to Heek. You're up. Okay. <laughs> So you said control L to see how far I can see? Uh, so yes, if you click on yourself and click control L. Oh. So you can only see the 10 feet around you. Your your vision is very limited. Okay, well the control L does not work correctly then. Maybe it's just a DM thing. Just uh, a maybe. It's true. Yeah. I can only see 10 feet. Maybe. Yeah. I am going to fly then. Ten feet. Okay. 
Uh, I can see ten more feet. Yep. Which is not shit. Yep. Um. Help. Can I fly ten more feet as a bonus? Uh, that's just part of your movement. Yeah. As you can oh. you can break up your movement however you want. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, I've okay. never had <laughs> Ah. Oh. I would like to do a dive attack on yeah. this guy who I can see because he is 10 feet in front of me. Heck yeah. Do you have enough movement to get to him? I think you have just enough. I have 50 of flying and I've only used 20. Yeah, so you so. can get right up next to him and make your attack if you'd like. Sorry, okay. So dive attack uh, dives at least... Oh, wait. At the very least, 30 feet straight ahead. God damn it. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't quite have that vision or, or room in here to do that. Okay. But you could get next to him and make like a claw attack or whatever. Yeah, I'll just come up okay, and I will try to, Talon. Go for it. Ten is going to be a miss. I am going to try to Talon again. Go okay. for it. 19 will do it. Thank God. And 8. Uh, slashing. Yeah. Let's give me good news. Alright, that is a kill. Yeah, that's good news. Okay. Alrighty, that will bring us top of the initiative is Autumn. Yes, so... I am going to pop the yeah, land agility. And uh, okay. Luke, I have a question. Sure, what's this up? This cavern, how tall are the ceilings? Um, Not super tall, like 15 feet. Okay, so I'm going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, just like 10 feet up the wall. And then as I get sight on the... Can I see the Zvart that I tagged earlier with my bow? Uh, yes. So I'm going to do like this cling with my two bottom paws and just arch out and fire at the one I, I pinged already. Okay, or so 15. this one right here? You would, uh, whichever the staff holding one that I pinged. Oh, the staff holding ones, yes. Um, 15 just hits him. Uh, be six points of piercing. Six. All right, nice shot. Yeah. Um, and that'll be it. I've never seen it. Before. Alrighty. Just clinging to the wall with my bow, just like with the two bottom, oh. the, the two legs, just like. Really. It's a stretch, but I'll allow it. You're right. It is, but <laughs> you're not. You're not a gecko. You're a cat. But okay. Okay. Yeah. Cats do um, weird, stupid things all the time. They do. They do. They do. <laughs> um, that'll bring us to Arbit still in the net. <laughs> Trying to get out still. <laughs> All right. Hey, you do it with a twelve. You burst out as your action. <laughs> How do you get into these situations every time? <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. All right. Uh, that's gonna be it for me. All right. That's gonna bring us to the and war box. Zart, 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 zart. Um. Let's see. Nice. Lena's looking pretty hurt. What is your thing? So. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. This one, the one that's getting hit by arrows, is going to shoot a. Uh, it's going to cast Scorching Red. It has a number. It doesn't really say as good as it ever gets. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um. So, it's going to fire the first one at Elena. Elena, that's a 15 to hit. Yep, that's... That's seven points of fire oh, damage. Down. All right. <laughs> As you go down, it is going to gain four temporary hit points. Uh, it's then going to take the other two, uh, the other two Scorching Rays and fire them at Autumn. 
So Adam, that's a 7 to hit, Miss. and a 22 to hit. The 22 is a hit. That's going to be 6 points of fire damage. Hang in there, baby. All right. The Hang in there, one, kitty. The other one is going to fire a, an Eldritch Blast at Adam. Uh, that's going to be a 13. Miss. All right, that's a miss. And they're just going to chill right there. That'll bring us to Lena. Lena, you're down. I need a death saving throw. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, no. That's a natural one. That's two failed death saves. Yikes. Okay. No bueno. And it's their turn next. And it's their turn next, yes. They are going to uh, keep pressing forward. They're going to swarm up on uh, Heek here. They're going to take two... Actually, they're going to try to shove you prone, Heek. Uh, so I need acrobatics or athletics checks. I'm in the air, though. Uh, no, because you landed to, to strike. I thought I just clawed his face with my talons, but okay. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's So they can't shove you to the ground, but they can try to grab you. They're going to try to grab your feet and pull you. Uh, yeah. So they're going to they're gonna try to grapple you. So go ahead and make um, athletics or acrobatics checks. Oh, my God. So the first one does grapple you, kind of yanks you, grabs you by the foot. The second one is going to help him hold on. Of course he is. Why not? And then this one's going to 5, 10, 15, step up. Um, and he's going to pull out like a little slingshot and just try to hit you on the wall, Autumn. Okay. Just a little sling attack is a 13 is a miss. miss. All right. Uh, Lilia, you're up. Uh can't really reach her. Alright, I'm gonna move up. Yeah, he just kind of body blocked. Yeah, I'm gonna move up anyways. Because I'm now stressed out about my friend. Um, Where? Actually, can I move, like, past here? To the right there? Yeah, I could say, I'd say you could squeeze there. do that and I feed her a potion okay d4 it's a six six health back so Lena you are conscious but prone with six health um and that's my turn alrighty playing that supportive role oh, right there. there we go that'll bring us to Heek you're up okay so am I currently grappled you are currently grappled. He's kind of got you by the foot, so your speed is effectively zero. Okay. Um. Oh, I got polygon. That's why. Being level one is painful. I would like to be level nine, half orc again. <laughs> um. I would like to. Can I try to smack him in the face? If he's got my leg, can I, like... You can use the other... Yeah, whatever attack you want, yeah. Oh, okay. Actually... Actually, I don't think that... Yeah, okay, we're gonna try an unarmed... Punch him right in the top of the head or something. Okay. Uh, the nine. nine is a miss. Oh my God. Yeah. As they always are. Uh, <laughs> bonus? Do I still have bonus? Yeah, still got your bonus. Try it again! 14? 14 will get in there, yeah? Okay, thank God. And okay. seven will take him out. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. I am no longer grappled. Me correct. Okay. Alrighty. Here. Uh, Alrighty. So that's your action, your bonus. Uh, that'll bring us to the top of the round is Autumn. All right. Bonus action, second wind. Okay. That's a nice 10 hit points. I'll take that. There you go. Um, and because the options here are uh, kind of slim, I'm going to keep focusing fire on the caster's arc. Okay. Longbow shot. Nine is a miss. 
Uh, Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. No, because no, no, no. I'm staying where I am because I gotta get the agility's back. All right. I'm just gonna stay there, just pinging, and that's my turn. Okay. That'll bring us to Arbit. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Guys, we gotta kill all these before Arbit gets here. Thirty-five. Try and throw here. All right, so that's going to be at disadvantage because he's outside of the short range of the dagger. Send it. Send it. Very nice. Hey, 15 will get in there. And 6 will kill him. Those dagger kills, man. All I'm right. Snipe these things. Yeah. And uh, that's my turn. All right, good turn, good turn. The warlocks are going to go. Um... Let's see. This one's out of spell slots. The other one still has one. Um, I think we're going to do a round of Eldritch Blasts. So we're going to kind of sidestep here. One Eldritch Blast is going to be at Lilia. One of them is going to be at Heek. So the first one at Lilia is an 8 to hit. That's a miss. And against Heek is a 12 to hit. Double misses. Okay. Yeah, sweet. Alrighty. That'll bring us to Lena on the ground. Oh, <laughs> Alright. And I will stand back up. <laughs> Lena on the ground. Uh, oh, that was accidentally funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're gonna just uh, smack this guy in the face. Okay. Oh, Ooh. there we go. There's the crit. Svart, you very much. <laughs> and I am going to bonus action, second wind. Okay. For eight back. Eight. back very four. nice. There's the finally the fucking. Okay. Um, and then I am going to. I have not. Uh, just start moving up. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Beautiful. All right. There are you no Svarts left. Smart moving up or smart moving up? Smart, smart. moving up. <laughs> Episode title should be Let's Get It Sparted. Let's Get Sparted. We gotta, get, we gotta yeah. get nine in there somehow, though, too. <laughs> Check my writing skills. All right. Lilia, you are up. Okay. Um. It's nine to Sparty. Is this guy next to him, like, not bad? Uh, those are captured hostage volunteers from the... Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay, so I probably try not to harm them. Um, I guess we'll go with infestation. Okay. <laughs> On the lefty. On the lefty. Okay, so he's gonna make a Constitution save. Uh, it's a seventeen, so he does save. Okay. Um, I think. Yeah, that's my turn. Okie dokie, Heek, you're up. Gotta make my corpse pile. Uh, you cannot. It is very dark for you still. No one has lit a torch or anything here. But, uh, you can hear a lot of stuff going on. Spells being hit and people dying and pew, pew, all that fun pew. stuff. How much Finish do... him! Oh. <laughs> How much do torches light up? Uh, so it's an action to light a torch and it's going to give off, um, I think it's 20 feet of bright light and 20 dim. So 40. In general? Sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a little more complicated than that, but yeah. Sure. Okay. Basically, after 20 feet, you only see, like, gray. Yeah. Good. Okay. I'm gonna move 20 feet. Okay. We all did. 
<laughs> okay, yes. kind of flying towards the sound of the battle. Yeah. Okay. I like this guy mm. to get talent. Okay. <laughs> Seventeen will hit. My God. Nine. For wow, nine points of slashing. Very nice. Let's just go ahead and do that one more time. Alright. Same dude. 15 just hits. For 7, that's a kill. Yes. Hey. Let's go. Very nice. Very nice. And reward. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it. He's, what's a reward? <laughs> okay. Alright. Now... Awesome move. Awesome move. Danger. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, that'll bring us top of the round is Autumn. And Autumn, after this round, if you want to do the viewer's choice. Cool. After my round? After your turn, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I only see one baddie, so we're going to shoot the baddie. Yeah. Bad kitty. 23 is a hit. Eight points of damage. Nice shot. Nice shot. Pew! Spart, 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 spart. Smart! I scared my rat. <laughs> oh. Intimidation I... check. He's a, he's scared. Coward. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's my. You're turn. also not speaking his language. You're just saying smart. That's all they're saying. <laughs> that's racist. That's racist. You bigot. <laughs> <laughs> Or languagist? Uh, I don't know how that works, but oh sure, uh, but when right. Jen does it, it kind of made sense. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> At least she looks like him. I wow, know. that sounded racist too. <laughs> 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 All right, Arba, so, you're uh, I, got, I got that pretty quick. Uh, I'm gonna run right up to this thing and just try and just a absolute running fist into this. Okay. 14. 14 is a miss because of mage armor. Oh. All right, we're going to do it again then cuz we're going to further blows this. Fuck that. Okay. Double crits. Let's fucking go. That's 8 points. Hell yeah. And the natural one. Oh. The dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Oh yeah, but by the way, you got hit. So uh, let's take let's do some constitution. That's true. That's thing. true. Constitution saving throw. Uh, it's a sixteen on the first one, hey, and that's only the only one. Yeah. So no damage there. Sure. Alrighty. On his turn, he's going to look at all of you and kind of like judging the situation. Go. Zvart, 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 zvart. Raxivart, and then he's going to cast invisibility on himself. Oh shit! And I'm going to cast the yeah. invisibility. No. So he is going to disappear and run away. Alrighty. Uh, Lena, it's your turn. So I have blind fighting, so if I get within 10 feet of him, I can see him. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Fuck it, Luke! Um, so I'm going to move up hearing the voices. Mm-hmm. I don't see shit. And then I kind of just look at Arbit like, the fuck? Yeah, I spelled what I'm saying. So, Arbit, even though you can't see them, you heard them running away, like, down this tunnel, so. Yeah. Yeah! All right. Pointing. Two uh, choice is life. 30. You're alive. So, as you step there, you can see him right in front of you with blind fighting. All right. I will take Lucy and give him a whack. All right. 15's the number to beat. Nope. Oh, 10 is a miss. That is all I get. All right. Lilia, you're up. Perfect. 
Harper, are you there? I'm sorry, I was laughing at Arbentina. Oh. <laughs> Arbentina. <laughs> That's my favorite one ever. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just run after. I'm not going to let Lena go off by herself, so I'll just use okay. my dash. The last time you did, a lot of people died. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. All right, and Heek. Um, are these guys right here like are they actively attacking or do they? Do no, they so those them? are volunteers from the animal shelter that have been uh, captured oh, by these guys. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Jimmy, is that you? That would be <laughs> Jimmy's, Jimmy got wrecked. Oh no, not uh, Jimmy. I am going to fly 20, 20, and then 50, 50, 50. Okay. Oh, I am here. I am going to hold a dodge just in case. Okay. Sounds good. All right, Autumn, you are up. Autumn is going to pop feline agility. Okay. Run along the wall, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. But not knowing where this thing is, she's going to drop here. Okay. And it's, it's you. Just, it's just the end Basically, you're dropping. You're dropping onto the same square. Yeah. Okay. It, it might end poorly. It might end good. I don't know because I just got to the All end right. of the move. So that was your that was your movement, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're kind of like in the same square. Uh, you still have an action. Yeah, but I don't know what I would do with it. Would you say I know what do you mean? you're there? Like, yeah, I, you you physically feel this invisible creature that you're tang- you landed on. I'm going to claw it because that's what I have out right now. All right, so that would be at disadvantage, Could but it? you can still swing. I'd like to think that she didn't realize that she wasn't going to need her bow. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! I fucking claw it to death. Oh my god. That's eight points of damage. Autumn, how do you want to do this? <laughs> she just pounces. Like, this is like cat like reflexes. She doesn't really know where it is, but she's got this feeling. And she just lunges with the claws and takes it out. And just All buries right. it into the neck. Also, Jen, fuck ah. you, I stole your kill. <laughs> Swipe five! Swipe five! It's a rare really? feat taking a, jet and taking a kill from Jen. It is. It is quite rare. <laughs> That's why I was excited for it. I didn't want to meta and, it, but I'm like, you know what? We'll see what happens. And with that, all of the Sparts are eliminated successfully. You guys managed to free the uh the volunteers from the animal shelter here who explained to you that these weird blue people kidnapped them when they were out hunting um and they were talking you weren't really sure but there was some they, they, they said zvart a lot and you weren't really sure what they wanted but they kept looking uh and they would point you in the direction of like a hidden little box that they had buried uh, and they they kept looking at that and like cheering and dancing around the box um so dance and cheer around Never mind. Jesus. <laughs> you guys are all going to gain one tea leaf point for completing the adventure successfully. Yay. You guys are all going to gain the, uh, I believe it was 750 gold. Yay. You're all going to gain 425 experience. So that's three dings off the bat right there. Congrats on level two, ladies. 425 experience? 425, yep. Yeah. Can we go um, 75 short? <laughs> Leaves me 75 short. Oh, if you're 75 short, just take it. Yeah, if you're, if you're within 100, just round up. That, that's the precedent. That is the precedent, yeah. All right. So you there you dinged is. as well, Arbit? Level four yeah. for Arbit. Nice. <gasps> I did not ding. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody dinged but you, Andrew. Yeah, I know. Well. <laughs> okay. 
Um, <laughs> Nothing new. In the box. So actually, the, the volunteers would give you a magic item as a thank you for saving them. And then in the box is a second magic item that gets you all excited for a moment. But uh, just to extrapolate a little bit, as you bring these back to your patron in the Chief Adventuring Company, he would um, be very excited to hear about the Svarts. And he would explain to you that Raxavart, the treasurer, using the spindle, the infinity spindle, must be able to clone himself, and that the Svarts are actually identical copies of the now missing demigod. Um, the needle which you find in the box is sadly not the infinity spindle, but it is still magical and still quite relevant, and for your trouble, he decides to let you keep it because he has no use for it. So, we've got uh, a couple minutes left on the viewer's choice here. I sh probably should have started that like one round sooner. Show I apologize. those items. But we're going to show these items. So, the first item, uh, the uh, reward from the... This is actually quite ironic because I completely improved the whole animal shelter thing. But this is the reward they gave you. <gasps> um, this is the deer hunter's armor. Uh, it is magical leather armor. Uh, this set of gray and green armor carries the spirit of the forest within it. While wearing it, you can use it to cast Phantom Speed spell, but only as a ritual. The steed takes the form of... Uh, the steed from this version has half of the normal speed and takes the form of a ghostly deer with many pointed antlers. If the steed is hit by an attack, roll a d20. On a 6 or higher, the attack misses. This The steed can take any damage. The spell ends and it can't be used again until the next dawn. While wearing the armor, your ranged weapon attacks ignore half and three quarters cover when the target is using another creature as cover, which is very rare. That's yeah. kind of a niche ability. It is very uh, niche. But your attacks become ghostly as they pass through such creatures, only becoming real again when they reach the target. But still kind of cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a level one adventure. Uh, the other one, uh, this one is also interesting. Um... This is the Needle of Creation. It is not the Infinity Spindle, but it is close. It's a knockoff. Um, so this magical needle is imbued with some of the earliest magics known to the multiverse. It has three charges, and as an action, you may expend one of its charges to cast the Creation spell. It regains one charge every midnight. So Creation is a fifth level spell, if you want to take the peek at that. Well, we've got some time. Oh. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of like fabricate, but it's it's Yeah, um, it's a little different than fabricate. It's it's you don't need to have material. Well, you need to have the material, but you can turn the material into pretty much uh, whatever you want uh wait no 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 because what i'm reading is you pull wisps of shadow material from the shadow fell yeah but it but under the components it's a tiny piece of matter of the same type of item oh tiny piece. so yeah fabricate you need that much of an item mm -hmm. you need to have the, the amount of raw material that we could need to make it so okay i see it's interesting it's interesting mm -hmm. oh and it it lasts a certain amount of time okay yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Never looked yeah. at that spell. It's a yeah. Kind of kind of fun. Interesting. Kind of kind of cool. Yeah. Very <laughs> creative. Very creative. Mm -hmm. And Heek gets viewer's choice tonight. Congrats. So you get a bonus to leave point. <laughs> All right. Uh, DM's choice tonight. Um. I gotta give that one to Lena just for number one the accent, which you did an amazing job of holding the entire time, and number two just the using of the uh, the fucking change link thing, and that that was that was play of the game. That was oh, that was tier. fucking hilarious. <laughs> top I picture tier. her just walking back into the teal figure, just com not changing back to her other form and just like waddling <laughs> dark, dark. in. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not. Like, is the toddler going to bed with that shirt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, guys, so uh, do we want to bid on the armor or the needle first? 
I say armor. Let's do let's do the armor. So, if you'd like to bid on the deer hunter's armor, the command uh, uh actually, it's going to be slash w space gm and then the number of tea leaf points you'd like to bid. So it's a blind bid. If you win it, you subtract that many tea leaf points and you get the item. If you don't win the bid, you don't lose the points. So if you're interested in the deer hunter's armor, get your bids in now. Going once. Going twice. Going thrice. Sold. For one tea leaf point, that's going to go to uh, Lilia. That makes sense. That is you. There you go. So go ahead and copy and paste that onto your character sheet. It's uh, it might be on D and D Beyond because a lot of the uh, Griffin Saddlebag stuff is. Um, but just make sure it's on your roll twenty one too, because I usually delete these handouts after. So. Okie dokie. Uh, and then the second one, the Needle of Creation. We will start the bids fresh now. So if you're interested in the Needle of Creation, go ahead and get your bids in now. Going once. Excuse me. Going twice. Alrighty. That is going to be a rollover item. So I will throw a gold price on that and uh, it will roll over to next week. Alrighty, guys, that's all we've got for this evening. I hope you all had fun. That was goofy and silly and, and amazing. Thank you all for being amazing. Um, I, we're going to be probably we're probably going to be beginner tier again next week. Just looking at the priority list. Uh, I got a lot of BT folks around. We got to get some of these up into adventure tier. Um, but uh, have an excellent weekend. We love you. Take care of yourself. Do something nice for yourself. And uh, tell Mama K we said sup. Uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Bye. Toodles. All right.